Hey, 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 Will. How's it going? Hey, Pigs, I'm doing good. How are you doing? Yeah, really good, man. Nice to see you. Oh, it's good. It's great to see you. I I got the uh, I got the greatest compliment on the on the theme song from uh, James Jordan the other day. He's like, I was in the store and I was just singing that damn thing, and it got stuck in my head. And God damn it! And I was like, yes. I don't make I don't write good music, but I do get it stuck I've in your head. Had multiple people come up to me and ask me about that. They're like, "Where'd you get the song from? Like, what happened?" I'm like, "Will made it. That's Will." <laughs> Oh man, yeah. Uh, available soon in uh, music stores near you. <laughs> <laughs> the album's coming next year. <laughs> yeah. It's just going to be an hour of that on a repeat over and over. Don't laugh though. Like these TikTokers, they make these 50 second songs and suddenly they blow up and they actually have to turn it into a three minute song so they can release it. So Spotify can, you know, spam so, it to thousands of people that want it. And get paid, yeah. Uh, my my biggest hopes and dreams are to go viral. We'll see if that ever happens. <laughs> so, our episode four, the PlayStation Collectors Podcast. Uh, today we've got a special guest for you guys, all the way from America. We've got Mr. Joe Rad. Uh, so, everyone, please welcome Joe to the podcast. Hey, Joe, how's it going? Hey, what's going on, guys? How you doing? Welcome, yeah, Joe. How are you? Or I'm doing good. How are you? I'm pretty excited to be here. Thanks for having me. Yeah, you're welcome. I'm really glad to have you on. It's, um, we haven't actually spoke before, apart from like messages and stuff. So this is cool. Uh, that's true. Just been uh, watching your videos for like a little over a year now, I think. Nice. And cool. uh, been a huge influence in my collecting, and I've always liked the content. So when I, you guys started the podcast, I was like, yeah, I mean, this sounds like something that'll be fun. So uh, I'm glad you guys invited me on. Hell yeah. No, it's nice to have you. I know I want to have heaps of people like that on the stream that, um, Especially that influence the collection thing. That's that's interesting. I'd love to actually like see your collection and um, be able to see if I can like spot myself in there. <laughs> um, some of it for sure, um, but uh, some of it uh, you show me also the stuff I can't afford, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that happens. Um, so, uh, but yeah, definitely. I mean, we can definitely go through some of the collection in a little bit if you want. No, oh, maybe for another day, but yeah, that, yeah, that's that's really interesting to hear because a lot of people have said that. So um, mm -hmm. it's nice to hear. And I'll say there's people out there that have influenced my collection. And um, just before the stream started, you showed a game that um, actually Will showed you a couple of weeks ago. So yeah, I was just showing him. He was I was watching the podcast the other day and he was talking about <laughs> Amori here. So oh, no, <laughs> immediately went out and grabbed it before. Uh, it was too late. Because... Where, where'd, you, where'd you grab it? At GameStop or uh, uh, I, went to, I got it for uh, Best Buy. Be oh, Best Buy has it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they oh, did. Man. Those corporate bastards. Uh, oh, what? there it is. Oh, I do really <laughs> like that song, by the way. And I didn't oh, know that was you, Will. So that is really awesome. By the way. Yeah, it took me all of fifteen minutes. <laughs> it's, it's you know, it's punk. I like it. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, that's uh, are you? Uh, uh, I was, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna. You, you got some musical, uh, uh, musical gear in the back, but this is a PlayStation podcast, not the. Uh, <laughs> That's right. Not the rock and roll review, so we'll leave that for another day. <laughs> so is it? Uh, was, is it still thirty bucks over there at uh, Best Buy? Or yeah, I think it. Was, yeah, it was like thirty or thirty-five or something like that when I picked it up. Still. Oh, cool. Well, I'm just happy to have a fellow American on here. And, uh, Heck yeah! Hey, Best Buy. <laughs> I don't. I wouldn't sleep on Best Buy. I check them like every day for clearance, and sometimes their clearance prices are amazing. Um, so if you can catch the games when they're on clearance, you can get really, really good deals in some of these, uh, some of the games. So you I know, see videos not... on YouTube, and like Walmart have what three cent video games or sometimes. Oh, yeah, yes. those are crazy. They're like, like on sale for like an hour, and you have to go in and you can get like Switch games for like a dollar. It's wild. Um, not that dedicated, but. <laughs> Uh, the thing is, the uh, they're, they're they're marked three cents or they're marked a dollar, and I guess that's because they're supposed to send them back to the manufacturer. But they don't make it off the shelf and, and in the back, or they make these stay on the shelf. So if you're there at the right time in the right place, you can you can snag one, take it over, and just uh, and uh, yeah, get it for three cents. Sometimes the um, the clerks are dicks and they won't let you buy them. No, wait, so this is wrong. Something's wrong here. We're, I've seen videos yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah they won't, and they won't let you buy them. But you know, other ones, they don't care. What the fuck? You know, they're 
they're working the minimum wage job whatever click beep there you hey, go get out the door that's what it rings I up for this guy i don't know if you guys watch him he doesn't really do video games but his name's the flipping accountant and he does a lot of like retail arbitrage where he'll go to walmart buy all the lego sets on clearance and different things like that but a lot of the times like they won't let him buy the free cent video games it's really interesting oh, it's bullshit no but uh when uh last time i went i just because the way the, the the way the display is set up they got a bunch of the games spines out and then they got a bunch of the games like laying down flat underneath and i just called the guy over and said how much is that game how much is that game how much is that game when i ended up with a small stack 15 nice. bucks 15 nice. bucks took them over to gamestop and uh i ranked it up and uh that's probably one of my best pickups of the last year that's awesome that is awesome i got my five-year-old trying to encroach thank you sweetheart she brought me a beer it was one of the no. first things I taught her to bring me a beer. <laughs> Father of the year here. <laughs> anyway. So on today's podcast, a little bit different. We are actually on live on YouTube, Twitch, and Facebook. So um, hello to wherever you're watching. I think most people are over on YouTube. I wonder if we pick up any uh, any uh anybody from uh, Facebook. That'd be, be weird. A lot of people don't like YouTube. They don't want to have to watch ads and different things like that. So, oh my God, YouTube's gotten crazy with the ads yeah. lately. Everywhere's getting crazy with ads these days. Yeah, everywhere's yeah. kind of awful. I I can't confirm though. I've had YouTube Premium for a couple of years, so uh, you. I don't have any streaming services I watch. I just use YouTube, so that's my main platform. I just want uh, to know when you're going to get sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends, Fixie. <laughs> <laughs> you oh, laugh, man. But then with one day, you yeah, you, <laughs> you laugh. I like those to guys. say that thus far I've only ever had one sponsor, and it's some a product I use, and I'll generally recommend it to people because it's the um, retro the protect over in the UK. The um, oh, yeah. the sleeves. And I'll stand by. He's got the best sleeves that I've ever bought, and they're a decent price too. And there's a ten percent discount code, so um, Fixie ten if you want ten percent off your um PlayStation sleeves, guys. Look at this <laughs> shameless guy just this. plugging away. Oh man, you paying attention, Raid? He's ready. He's ready. <laughs> Raid's knocking on your door. Better answer. Uh, they're funny because they'll sponsor like cooking channels. They don't care. They'll, <laughs> they'll be on anything. It's just like I'll watch some random channel and it'll be like, "This is sponsored by Raid Shadow." I'm like, "Really? Well, okay." And then they talk about it for two minutes at the start of a video. That drives me insane. It's all good. Hey, you know, if they're gonna pay you, I, I get it. I, I I don't judge. I mean, it's uh, it's I just skip money that part of the video. Right here, it's simple. So. I just go skip two minutes. Yeah. Good on you, mate. I like the people who will like wear a hat so you know <laughs> as soon as the ad's over when the hat's gone or something. <laughs> well, uh, this just uh, any sponsors or potential sponsors listening. Uh, yeah, just uh, okay, come on, let's go. Well, we'll put your name right here on the bottom. It'll be nice and big. Yeah. Yeah. Will can write it your jingle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, if you do want to sponsor the podcast, we've got to pay like 40 bucks a month for this platform. <laughs> yeah, shit. Yeah, we gotta we gotta bring that uh, what's the production value up a little bit. <laughs> so, uh, t Joe, tell me uh, your your collection. Are you are mm -hmm. you primary PS one, PS two, PS three, PS four, late Nintendo, all across the board? What what's your shit to consist of mainly? Uh, so like, uh, right now, I mean, so I started off collecting everything. Like yeah. I just was buying a little bit of everything, and it got to a point where I have like. A limited space and i i had to like kind of decide i was like all right if i really want to keep collecting i kind of focus on something and sony and playstation like was always my favorite so i kind of got rid of most everything but my sony stuff and then i kept uh some like some of my old cartridge stuff but it's mostly um ps1 ps2 ps3 ps5 um, and then i have the majority of my collection is ps4 uh, just love the PS4. I've loved collecting this generation and uh, especially got into like PSVR. I don't know why, but like I got obsessed with collecting for PSVR and I'm going after like a full um, English language set. And uh, so I have almost a full PSVR English language set. I'm missing like 10, 12 games, something like that right now. That's oh, nice. Wow. 
I can't I can't fuck with VR. It makes I get seasick and I just fall over. I can't say I love the games that much, but I do love collecting for it. I for so, I just think it'll be like a niche thing in the future, like a a, a unique experience that's like. And apparently now that it's not going to be PSVR yeah, two, this they just said yeah. it's it's, it's going to kind of be stuck on that. So I don't know if that'll be good or bad for collecting. It could go either way. Um, I feel I like think it probably would it be will be like the Wii U now because like I was going to get a VR two and play my VR games. That was yeah. The plan. Oh man, everybody that was everybody's. I, I have the whole set. You have no idea. I was like, yeah, all these games are going to look so great. I'll have the new headset and all you know, but. I uh, I have a feeling they'll upgrade a lot of the good games. They'll come up with patches and stuff. So yeah, I agree. You know, yeah. I'm not going to be mad if some of the that more obscure titles don't. That's okay. And that's I've also only used it key. once, and I it hurt my head after a while. I didn't like <laughs> it. <laughs> it um it's not good for more than like 45 minutes an hour tops. I feel like that's like the most I can get out of a, a session. And like the other thing I hated about it is like it's hot. <laughs> it gets really hot and it gets like sweaty so like if you're playing in the, like the summer like that it's it's kind of nasty so um i'm i'm thinking like in the future when they make better headsets lighter headsets you know they don't take as much i don't know it'll just be a better technology down the road and i think psvr2 is going to be awesome so to so me it think- sounds more like a going to a roller coaster or like an arcade experience rather than like just relaxing and playing video games at home i couldn't think of like playing skyrim the entire game in vr Ah, <laughs> uh, it's it's cool man like um but uh i don't know i i primarily obviously like it for horror i don't know i think that's just the best experience on vr you can like horror games are just so intense in vr and uh a lot of people my, my family my girlfriend my, my roommate they love watching me play it in vr they laugh and stuff so it's, it's like a good thing to it's fun to watch people play so uh those are the be- like the best um, experiences in my opinion so so the, the the helmet actually gets hot on your head like to the touch like, you just like or, sweat or or you just it's, it's just you're like yeah. wearing a sweater no you just like physically get hot and you get sweaty yeah. it gets like it gets you know kind of nasty yeah by nature i'm a sweaty bastard i don't think i'm really <laughs> that so but uh, and similar here, air it's conditioned hot. room, you know, it's all it's okay. Um, but yeah, so then that's uh, that's primarily what I what I have. I have like the most PS4 games for sure. Um, yeah, yeah. PS4, I'm uh, I'm I'm pivoting from PS3 to PS4 right now, and um, it may break a lot of hearts for me to say this, but as soon as, as soon as they close that store, I'm gonna go full tilt and then just uh, just lean into PS4 all the way. So, because uh, yeah, uh, I did the same. Started PS2, like I, like I told you earlier when we talk op, talking ops, off camera. Got halfway through the set, uh, started selling that, and then started getting into the PS3. And then, uh, and, uh, I think my PS3 uh, collection is uh, it's reached maturity. It's time to get to get on to the next. I'm going. There's some stuff I won't let go. I'm going to keep on keep a hold of. That's a mistake I made with the PS2. But when I go full tilt PS4. Uh, yeah, a lot of games are going to be going away. So, look, look, look for me. Look for my sales post once they close that PS3 store. <laughs> so that's interesting because I've been full to full steam on the PS4 for a few years now, and I'm getting to the point where I'm kind of getting a little bit bored with the system to the point where that's... there's just too much out there. I've got so many games, and it's almost overwhelming. Uh, Joe, how many PS4 titles have you got? um i think i'm around like 780 right now jesus okay. yeah well see I, at that point i was still full steam into the ps4 i'm now closing into 1200 ish games okay oh, it's four? getting to the point where there's only a few more games off like an actual list that i want and they're expensive and it's like well i don't want to mm. go spend you know 60 70 dollars on these rpgs and things like that or they're rare games or it's just limited run strictly limited you know all that stuff um but i I do love the system don't get me wrong and there's so many amazing titles for the ps4 like you could have a thousand ps4 games and no shovelware (laughs) so that's that's obviously my my goal like i said i have a space issue so i really try to collect games that i really really want and like i would uh, intend to play and then 
for me, what I like about the PS4 is I like I like to go for like subsets. Like like I said, I like to go for like I'm trying to get the PSVR set. I'm trying to get all of the shmups available. Mm-hmm. Yep. Which yep. God damn it. Oh, I'm, as, I'm it's expensive to finish that <laughs> at this point, but I might. I still have a couple, but they're pretty expensive. And then I'm like going for like all the PS4 horror titles. Uh, like I like getting like sets. And so, yep. you know, like you said, if you if you go for little sections of the that you can build like an amazing collection of PS4 games and without any shovelware. Although, you know, there's some pretty yeah. uh, questionable games in there. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> there's quite a few that I bought on sale or, you know, they're cheap. You just pick them up, you try to play them or, you know. I, I, Funnily I enough, I look at my limited mm-hmm. run collection like it's full of shovelware. Uh, well, I was going pretty hard with limited run games at the start and like most of it's just crap. I'm probably going to sell a lot of it down the line. Yeah, this, I, yeah, I, I order like one out of every 10, 15 releases from them now. Yeah, yeah I, I'm, I'm probably even less because to order a game now, it used to cost me 60 Australian dollars. It now costs like 94 Australian dollars to order one game. It's absurd. Yes. Yeah, I, I heard worldwide shipping is brutal. I made my I made my physical list at work today. I was going to bring it in and read it off to you guys. And uh, top two games on my list were Shmups, uh, Raiden and Gradius. Raiden, Raiden Five, and uh, I didn't. I, I mean, what the hell is it, the Gradius game? Someone tell me. Any Gradius Five for PS2 or no or PS, PS? I'm talking PS4. It was Raiden Five. I'm mainly familiar with the PS2 releases. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Th- I don't know about a Gradius for four, but there's. A, am, there's I ta- am I talking out my ass? There's no Gradius on PS4. You know, thinking uh, of like Darius. Darius. There's oh, tons yeah. of Darius. Darius Burst. Darius Chronicles. Caladrius Col- Blaze. I want that one. Oh that yeah, that one's gonna... that one's good. So but I've no. got that on PS3. So I'm not going to buy it on PS4 again. Like it's in Japanese, but I've played that on. You don't need English to play it smart. Uh, I have to be admit that I buy everything twice on the Switch too. <laughs> <laughs> there are very... I am one of those people. I have I have Clutter's plays on that and the Switch, and then I have I'm um, my shmup uh, on the Switches has almost matched my PS4, and there are like so many duplicates. It's ridiculous. Respect. I try my best to limit my Switch collection to only problem. exclusives. It's a problem. And then like <laughs> Dark Souls will slip in there, and then I'm like, oh, The Witcher. And then I'm like, oh, this is exciting. And so I got that on PS4. And oh, a JRPG I've already got. <laughs> the Switch got me good. I, I didn't expect it. That was the end of my story, by the way. Like I was like, I'm just going to get Sony. And then I, the Switch came out, and I, I just, oh, man, I went so hard on the Switch, too. I have, uh, I don't know, probably like four or five hundred games or something like that for the Switch too. That's impressive. That's that's yeah. truly impressive. Because Damn. Switch games aren't cheap too. Like, <sighs> no man, that collection would be worth a fortune. That's that's the problem with Switch collecting. It ain't. It's not like you're like, oh, I'll wait till it's cheaper. That just that doesn't happen. Yeah, it it doesn't. It's a funny thing. I'll I go to my mind. local thrift shop and pick up whatever they've got there cheap. You know, you might be able to get a couple of PS4 games. You're not getting any Switch games. <laughs> Good luck. I, I don't collect for the Switch, but uh, I walk into my kid's room and I see his collection. And I'm like, God damn, I should trade some of those fuckers in. <laughs> I'll make it up to him on his birthday. But no. He won't no. even know. <laughs> he won't know. These kids nah. don't care about their shit. And then there's the pile of Pokemon cards and the Pokemon DS games. And it's just like, yeah, you, buy, you buy these gifts as a, as, you know, back when they're when they're 12 years old. And here we are. Know, 10 years later, it's like, God damn. Anyway, really, what you've got to do is take them, put them in a box, and give them to them when they're like, <laughs> they'll let be me, like, Dad, me, I've wanted me, these for so long. Yeah, let me take the gift I gave you when you were a child and give and re gift it to you as an adult. And then uh, now you'll really appreciate collecting. You're welcome, son, daughter. I wish I had strict parents that like kept my toys nice for me. <laughs> Are you kidding? They were like, You can't touch the box. We'll just let you play and we're going to take it away and put it away. For- oh, man. Oh, I've I've, I, I've got a closet full of Nintendo boxes that I you know because it's not my it's not my scene it's not my thing but yeah Christmas morning they open it all up take out the games yeah I I squirrel away the boxes because oh, yeah. this is all they care about is but anyway the funny side of that my dad's a little bit like that like keeps everything 
So when I started collecting, I'm back at my dad's place. And I'm like, have you got my PS2 box? And he's like, oh, I don't know. Probably not. And I'm looking through the closet and I found a box. And I'm like, here it is. He's like, no, that's mine. <laughs> no, your box is here. <laughs> I found his box and the original box I got like Christmas 2000. So I've got that in the collection. That's so cool, man. Having your original stuff's the best. I think that's more like meaningful than anything. Um, that's well, actually I want to bring up a point that my friend brought up to me this week. So um, mm-hmm. I don't know if you guys see my recent video on PS One games I picked up. I saw yeah. it. Uh, yeah. Thanks, nice thanks for the thanks for the uh, credit there, Fixie. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. Thanks for the thumbnail. <laughs> Amazing yeah, no job on the thumbnail again. Well, mm-hmm. um, there are a lot of those games are from my childhood. However, I already owned a few of those games, but my childhood copies were all platinum versions. And my OCD didn't allow me to keep them. So I upgraded with black label copies. And I told one of my friends and he's like, you can't do that. You're getting rid of your childhood games. I'm like, yeah, but to me, that's what I wanted. <laughs> <laughs> so what are your guys' takes on that? Well, yeah, uh, always black label, always over uh, uh, greatest hits. I had somebody got rather upset in my in the Facebook group. Actually, I think you... Uh, you commented or you you reacted to it. The guy's like, "All I learned from your video was I need to throw out my goddamn red, red <laughs> greatest hits games." It's like, God <laughs> damn, no, that's not what we said. <laughs> no. So, uh, um, I prefer Black Label, obviously, <laughs> like any other person. But yeah, there are greatest hits versions of games that are better if you want to play the game. So that's like I do own. Uh, I bought like the greatest hits version of uh, Midnight Club 3 because that yeah, one has yeah, like different. extra content, you know what I mean? So I have some greatest hits games, uh, but that's very rare. And then, of course, uh, Amazon and the companies are jerks and they love to just send you the greatest hits games uh, when you order <laughs> the regular ones. I don't know if that happens to you, but oh man. So I have a few in my collection that have slipped in there for that reason. And I've just been meaning to replace them and I haven't yet. But well, uh, there, are, there are some greatest hits games that are um that are that, that defy it. for example the uh I'm, I'm looking at the ps2 the uh which silent hill was it the greatest hits actually had some extra shit on it and uh that's the one you want probably, yeah the um, two, right greatest hits def jam uh fight for new york nobody gives a shit they'll pay the same for a, de- a black or or a red label on that game as well as uh yeah but the audience on that game is to play it where it's probably less collectors Oh well, the, well, the, the price tag doesn't say that. Well, I don't, well, yeah, I don't know. We get back to the argument. People really want to play that game. And also, the uh, Dragon Ball Z Budu, Budokai Tenkaichi Ten- Ten- Three. Three. Did you say that Amazing right? Game. Amazing <laughs> game. <laughs> you know that. <laughs> I, I, we'll get to that later, but uh, <laughs> was that going to be on the list? <laughs> no, it wasn't going to be on the list. But you, 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 you shut, you rolled that out the tongue like a champ. Congratulations! You I'm a big there. fan of that game, so that's why I couldn't pronounce it. Do you, do you, do you have it on PS2? Um, I think that is the only Dragon Ball Z game I'm missing. Actually, what? Oh, man. Well, the one reason that I've only and ever owned a platinum version, not a black label copy. And Budokai Tenkaichi has come in and out of my collection many a times, and uh, I always held one and then got another one and then you know kept a better copy and sold a shittier copy. And then it's, it, but uh, yeah, I never got a sealed one, but uh, yeah, that's one that's been revolving in and out of my collection. Same with Def Jam, those three games, and the other uh, Silent Hill. I can't remember the life for me which number it was, but the one with the girl's face and the side. So, anyway. yeah, we got a lot I'm of over here. Don't ask me. <laughs> <laughs> We got I a lot of have the Silent Hill games. That's those are some of the ones I slept on. I'm, I'm oh. really de- sad that I didn't pick them up when they were cheap. Remember, I was talking before the cast. I was talking about games that used to be like forty bucks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I those games, and then uh, I didn't have Fatal Frame three. Uh, Fatal Frame three. I had the first two, and I just always like was like, I'll pick up three, you know. And then COVID happened, and then uh, I ended up paying like. 80 bucks 90 for a copy because i i was like ah oh, but you know fatal frame project zero is that the same game over here fatal frame project zero uh was that the or am i thinking of something else that was the nintendo wii version i think that was well game, over right? here on ps2 we got project zero one two and three. Oh, um that's i don't know if that's what they were called in the u.s um, I'll, I'll google it quickly 
Oh, you beat, you beat me to it. Uh, there's, as far as I know, I think that's the, the. It was title zero in Japan. Yeah. And, and Project Zero in Europe and Australia. Yeah. Okay. Fatal Crime sure. in America, Project Zero over here. Yeah. So I, I don't know if you guys remembered, but. Oh my God. January this year is going to go down as like one of the best pickups of my life. I was messaging this guy, $10 PS3 game on Facebook. He invited me in. One of those one times where it was better to go in. Because he's like, <laughs> I've got some stuff for sale. I haven't listed it yet. And it's just stuff all over the house. Anyway, these I seen the Project Zero games. I'm like, oh, I'd be interested in these. And he just looked at me and laughed. And he's like, you're not getting them for 10 bucks, mate. <laughs> and I'm like, no, I'm a collector. Fair. I'll pay, pay up for them. And he's like, go on then. Make me an offer. <laughs> like this old guy. I looked at them. They're like minty condition. I'm like, oh, I'll give you eighty dollars for the three. He's like, all right. I know what I got. I paid eighty for three, part three. (laughs) (laughs) I'm not a horror person, so I I didn't know, but I knew. I'm like, all right, at least fifty dollars worth. I I looked them up, like four hundred and fifty dollars in value over here, like absurd. That's another reason I like watching your channel too, because uh, it's it is interesting to me to see what the prices are in you know, like Australia and overseas. And I like when the you show so collectors from Europe and stuff, and they talk about what's rare over there and what's rare in their regions and stuff. I just think all that stuff's fascinating. Uh, especially, I, agree. The- I really think it's interesting, especially with region-free systems. Yeah, I believe I- if, for example, Painkiller is a perfect example on PS3. That mm-hmm. used to be a ten dollar game over here. It's now a two hundred dollar game because it's expensive in America. So I'm a big okay. believer that if a game is expensive somewhere mm-hmm. and cheap somewhere else, eventually the price is slowly going to do this because people in America will be like, you know, I'm just going to import a cheap copy. The or trick is down, I'm just going to import the cheap American copy. Yeah, and I remember you saying that, so that's why I did that exact thing. There you go. <laughs> uh, it uh, it's not sealed now. But uh, it's oh. in really good condition. Um, but uh, yeah, it's the uh, Peggy one. But uh, I picked it up uh, from, I got it from Malaysia for like 20 bucks plus 20 bucks shipping. So I think it's like 40 yeah. bucks. There you yeah. go. I, I've, I've sold two copies in the last six weeks for over $200. Jesus. It's Peggy copies? Game. Peggy copies. Yeah. Jesus. That's a shame. So talk about influence in my collection. That's a perfect example. I remember <laughs> you saying that exact thing. And, uh, you know, uh, there's, there's, there's quite a few PS4 games that uh i'm doing that with too like um i got um i ordered like the european Crystar because the the uh, esrb release is like 100 120 yeah. bucks right now and you can get the european one for like 20 30 bucks and i just know that even if it doesn't get up to the 120 dollar mark it'll get higher it'll just become yeah. more desirable oh, um, man. and um, it's it's a rare game over here like you're looking at minimum 50 dollars. that's mm-hmm. different copies on ebay i got the uh peggy uh brigandine same thing like yep. it got a limited run release, and that one's really expensive now. But the Brig- the, the Euro- Peggy one is still cheap. But I guarantee you that one will be really expensive in the future. It's gonna be a rare game. Oh, and man, I, no. I love collecting my own region, but as I can understand from a logistical point of view, like you know, unless you're going for that, all right, I want a full American set. You know, well, it I, doesn't really. You can't really justify not getting the cheap version of the game. Like I've got well, a full can. Australian set, but prior to doing that, I had a full PS3 set full of. All right, I might have an American version of this, a UK version of this, Australian version of this, and I was content for a few years. It wasn't until I had a full set and I wanted to keep collecting that I started to upgrade games. Oh no, man! I'm a, I'm a, I'm a snob over here. I gotta <laughs> I gotta have that uh, I gotta have that E. Or that uh, M, I, you know, if I see that Peggy, the numbers, it's like, oh, it's oh no, like I, 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 I do get that. Like I've replaced many of my Peggy copies with ESRB when I could yeah. get a copy for a reasonable. Yeah. If I could get a deal, I'm definitely doing that. Absolutely, not, not, not replaced, upgraded, upgrade, <laughs> exactly, exactly. So speak. And just snob. on upgrading, I probably upgraded 150 games mm-hmm. and majority of the time it didn't cost me anything no you get you get you get good value back for the game so in uh, in is the there... first place you may as well go out and get this other game you've got it in the collection and then maybe in three or four years you'll find that cheap painkiller you know for three four hundred dollars and then you can go ahead and sell your one for a couple of hundred bucks and it doesn't cost you that much exactly yeah that's the plan 
Gentlemen, you're going to have to uh, pardon me for a minute. Uh, I got a small emergency. Uh, Dad's job is never done. I'll be back in a few <laughs> minutes. Um, yeah, t- right. Talk amongst yourselves. I'll be right back. <laughs> well, you find for the PS1, it's a massive discrepancy in the prices. Oh, Absolutely yeah. Crazy. It makes me sad to see how cheap some of the uh, <laughs> PAL and Japanese releases are. It drives me crazy, you know, especially because I like shmups. You know, yep. I, I, I US shmups two hundred fifty dollars. The Japanese copies twenty, yeah, twenty bucks exactly. So, I mean, I've honestly many times thought about just importing it. You know, a PS two from Japan, grabbing some games uh, just for playing them. But um, I do. There is the collector in me too. So I there's like I said, I'm like half half. I, I like I buy a lot of the games to play games. Like I love playing games. I'm not just a collector. I am obsessed. I'm currently playing seven games at all times you know what i mean i'm just one of those what, what are you playing at the moment oh my gosh um i'm playing well i'm running through borderlands 3 with my my best friend because we never yeah. played it and it went on sale for 9.99 and i'm like that's the price point for me i jumped in at that point <laughs> i'm like let's play and i think I got, seven dollars uh, was what i paid for my coffee yeah, yeah. So it was 10 bucks and i'm like all right i'll play through because those are fun i like part two so and then uh i'm playing cult of the lamb and uh yep. what's funny is that my girlfriend got that because she's been watching one of her streamers play and she's obsessed with it. And she just wanted me to play it so bad that she bought me the digital copy because she knows I I've already pre-ordered the physicals. They're on there. I'm going to get them, but that'll be months. And so she's like, yeah, no, she, just... she wanted to watch you play it. So yeah. 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 So she bought it for me, which is cute. Cause you know, I buy her games constantly. So like, she's just on that point, if yeah. I'm actually going to play something and put time into it, I'll invest money into a game. Sure. Like I'll happily put you know hundred dollars into the new FIFA or eighty dollars if I'm going to put fifty hours into it over the next month or uh, so. Exactly, and if you're excited about like for example, like I, I, you know, I don't buy a lot of games at release, but like the new uh, Valkyrie Elysium RPG, I'm I'm just going to buy that for sixty. Yep. And I I just want I want it. I'm excited, and they can I want I'll pay the full price, and I'm I'm going to put in probably eighty hours or whatever into it. So, uh, you know, for me that's worth it. Whether the game ends up being is actually going to be the next game, I'll buy it full price because I'm playing 22 at the moment. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, you know, any if you're excited, you there's nothing wrong with supporting it day one and and supporting the company that you like. Like, uh, you know, I'm I'm I don't like the company at all. I just like the. No, that's true. (laughs) (laughs) That's true. That's interesting. Like back in the day, I probably wouldn't have ever done that, but now. Mm-hmm. Um, I like to play when I'm actually working. I'll reward myself with, um, I'll play on hard difficulty and depending on the result, um, if I lose, I'll do a certain amount of eBay listings and things like that. <laughs> That's punishment. Yeah. So it, it actually turns into like a little bit of a game for me. And then after an hour, suddenly I've done 40 eBay listings and played like, oh, okay, it might be 20 eBay listings and played two or three games of FIFA, you know, I'm getting uh, work done. Hey, that's not a bad gig, man. You got a, got a good thing going. Um, I uh, I play Ease Nine while I work. <laughs> yep, I've been playing that. So I I do like um like uh I work from home, so I can also you know. What do you do from home, man? Um, I help people with financial aid for a living. Uh, okay, so people go to college and stuff like that. Yeah, I'm a nerd. I just get paid to too nerdy stuff with documents federal documents basically no uh, I'm, yeah i'm back right that's what that's the dream Welcome back. <laughs> yeah so uh so it's pretty cool and then i've been playing um done greed on my switch i don't know if you ever heard of that game it's like a nicholas game it's a roguelite two i have heard of the name rings a bell. uh it's you know it's just your average roguelite type game if you're into that type of game you've played them all uh, but I, I I I really like Nicholas. Um, I'm a huge fan of Binding of Isaac. I don't know if you guys are familiar yeah. with that game, but like that's probably one of my favorite games of all time. And so like uh, I collected like all their Switch releases except for Ikaruga, which I do have on the PS4, but I didn't get it on the Switch in time. I had a question: Have you got it on the Vita? <laughs> yeah, no, no, oh, the Vita. You want to talk about heartbreak? So I collect Vita. I have. 18 games <laughs> and that's after years of collecting i collect me. vita too i've got one game <laughs> yeah <laughs> how big is the library uh <sighs> again games, something maybe. do you go to the library do you include the limited, limited run, run set yeah if you you have the limited to, you... run sets bigger than the actual set really yeah. uh, that's yeah. kind of bullshit 
it, it's and, a ridiculous system it's yeah and it's a uh, it's very expensive and I, there's just not a lot of titles i'm willing to pay that money for so if you're really to like visual novels and stuff like that there's a lot of cool stuff on there but uh i don't know it's a lot of that games that i'm not interested in and you're looking that... at a full japanese vita set you're looking at like oh. almost a thousand games like it's crazy it, it's insane so that's where i think a full set um power set is like 130 games or something like oh no no it's like 240 so i'm thinking of the wii u but it's still a very small number Figsy, we got uh, we got every we got lots of comments piling up in the chat. So you want to? Yeah, so let's let's get into these comments, guys. So the big one, and this is probably the biggest one from Ricky. New PS3 game coming coming soon. So if you guys haven't heard, <laughs> they've just announced today that Shakedown Hawaii and Retro City Rampage are getting a release on PS3. How exciting is that? Yeah, I, I actually have it here. Uh, it's, uh, let me see. Initial print run of 2,520 copies of each game has been manufactured. But to ensure that fans don't miss their chances to obtain these late PS3 releases, we're going to leave the door open to print more. Yeah. Uh, I was going to say 225. That, that ain't a lot. That'll actually go really fast. Note yeah. that if, if another run is produced, there will be a visual difference on the package to distinguish it from the first printing. Yeah, the so FOMO. The, yeah, they're gonna they're gonna they're probably sitting on 250 and they're gonna sell them on ebay themselves i guarantee it uh updates i didn't uh, say that because hmm? um some one of my friends i follow on twitter made an interesting post um she brought up that the physical release that they're bringing out is the same digital release as 2019 because a certain update was introduced in 2020, but that update isn't included on on this physical release. So they may have had these physical copies sitting there for like three or four years. <laughs> the physical version of Shakedown Hawaii for PS3 includes the Mogul update and the full tank update on disc, but unfortunately does not include the shakeup update and cannot be yep. updated. The disc version is not compatible with the PS Store digital Where version. Where shakeup update came digitally in 2020. So that what happened did they just not put it on have these been out since 2019 you think but then, then again what do you guys think of that maybe there was logistic issues and they didn't know when they were actually coming so maybe they knew three years ago that the game was coming but instead of bringing out an open pre-order they just waited oh that's uh, probably I mean, that's a better a, thing uh, yeah that is it's, not, it's a nice thing to do it's not a limited run games thing to do where they take all the pre-orders and hmm. make you wait three years for the goddamn shit but so hats uh, off to them if that's the case because you know hey, so maybe many that's the superior that version <laughs> well yeah that's I true as well <laughs> <laughs> looks like there's geez like looks like there's an action figure include uh yeah. that they're doing as well but uh, i don't care 30 bucks for the action figure and 24.99 for the for the game yeah I'm, i'll be i'll be skipping the action figure I'll be getting the bucks, game, though. Though. Yeah, that's that's fair. I'll, I'll definitely pick them up. They those tend to though. I mean, there are versions of the game that are pretty collectible. So, yeah, chaos a PS3 game. Come on, I mean, chaos for hire says uh, you should uh, upload ten hours of the song. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, maybe you know, uh, you know, just keep it, uh, keep it. <laughs> Keep our live stream rolling on uh, one of our face. Are you speaking of that? Well, you should give me a full version of the song, and we can upload it up onto the channel. Well, the song, I, I just wrote that part. Well, there's there's lyrics. There's another part. Uh, I, 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 I just have there I is just another part. It. Yeah. Well, I, I, I never recorded it. <laughs> like I said, I wrote it down, and it stayed in, in, on a piece of paper. The lyrics, and I, I got, I got the, the chords in my head, but you no, know, I just never put it down. So. Yeah, full uh, full version coming soon. Let's I want to hear like that Ted Hour rock opera version. <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> Queen backing the, vocals. Yeah, the the concept album. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's not, that won't be coming. Weird Al sitting over here waiting to make a remix. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh man, Jeez. the Xbox Collectors Podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nobody, no, no. <laughs> We got some more of the boys in chat. We got Langers here. We got James. Hey, what's up, James? What's going on, everybody? We got Tezza. 
Tez is in uh, Tez is uh, Terry over in Wales. Over in like, Wales. Yeah, he's he's a he's the he's the or my friend in the hospital. Get better. Get well soon. You got Alvino. What's up, Alvino? Yo. Um. We got a question here from Andy. If you could only collect for one system and you could not collect for anything else, what would it be? Uh, for me, it'd be the PS4, just based on the sheer amount of games and the variety of games. Because you know, on PS4, you can you can grab PS3 titles, you can grab PS2 titles, even. You, uh, but yeah, just based on variety, PS4 for me. I'm thinking of like saying PC, but like thinking I wouldn't actually want to have a big PC collection. I'm like, that could be the smart answer here, but I'm like, I actually wouldn't want to have like 30,000 PC games. <laughs> it would PC's probably be not- PS4 or Switch. Uh, I'd have to say the Wonder Swan. No, I'm just kidding. I'd probably <laughs> go with, um, I'd probably say PlayStation 1. I'm just like, really either that or the Sega Master System, believe it or not. Those would be like my two most nostalgic systems. If you're talking, I can only have one thing. Uh, I'd have to go with those systems just because there's games on there that pull on my heartstrings, man. Like I gotta have them. I don't know how to describe it. Like PS One, the RPGs are just oh my god, man, they're so Co- good. Collecting with like, your emotions. I, I that is why I have a collection. Like I. My collection all started with Brave Fencer Musashi. You ever heard of that game? Oh, yeah. yeah. Game PS1. I, literally, what I, I had a huge collection when I was a kid, me and my brothers, and you know, just the games we got when we were kids. And like my younger brother took all that when we got older, and, and I didn't care. Like it didn't, I never thought about it. I was like, yeah, whatever, take the games, you know? And then, you know, he sold almost all of them. And as after people that, do. Yeah, yeah, which, you know, sure, made a lot of money. It was really cool. But then afterward, I was just like, oh, man. You son of a bitch. <laughs> now I can't play Brave Fencer Musashi. I was I, that, I was planning on doing that, sir. I was going to play that again before I die. And so I started getting that. And it, like like, what, like with your, what you've been doing is I started, I wanted to just rebuild my childhood collections. And uh, it got out of hand. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I think I think that's like how ninety percent of collectors start. You know, they, I just want to get the games. Uh, I just want to get the games yeah, as a kid. Just want like a couple games. Like, just yeah. the game. Just the games. Yeah, kids, and then it just snowballs and it snowballs. And the next thing you Bubble know, you get, you gotta... <laughs> once I realized my girlfriend wasn't gonna leave me, I just went full tilt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's uh, <laughs> hiding your PlayStation games from your girlfriend. That's a whole uh, or, or or significant other because. I get the mail at 2 a.m. so she doesn't see the packages. <laughs> I got a P.O. box. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you know what? She does the same thing, but it's she buys she's she, she gets all stuff from my dog and like all like she spends so much money on my dog. I we have like brand new leashes showing up all the time, <laughs> brand new toys, brand new just it's nonstop stuff all the time. And I'm like so she's just as bad as me. I, I gotta tell you, man, that's she 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 wants a baby, uh, but you know. <laughs> I can't. Aff- <laughs> I gotta afford this. I can't. <laughs> I can't. Uh, you couldn't even say that sentence. <laughs> Are you kidding me? That's uh, oh, the one year later. I'll be like, well, it's all gone. The collection. <laughs> well, here, here's Junior. <laughs> well, here he is. Look at this little, look at this little money trap. But anyway. You guys know um, Christian, who gets on the YouTube videos a couple of times. He just had a newborn, and unfortunately, the newborn's room is his old game room. Oh, so that's what he, happened to he me. You gotta get a game, <laughs> you gotta go into the storage to go and find the games. But, um... Define resent. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, but yeah. Who oh, yeah. Else and, we... uh, Sega Master System is my other choice, by the way, because. That's what I had when I was a kid, little kid. You know what I mean? I don't know. You guys would play any of uh, the old? How old are you guys? Really? I'm th- I'm 40, so I don't know how old you guys are. But I'm 29, so I'm probably the youngest here. All right, so you don't know what a master system is. But Will, do you? Have uh, any- finally, <laughs> you say that I've got master system games for sale out there, but I've never played a master system. You never, <sighs> you never ask a lady her age. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> I, uh... No, uh, I'm 40 something, and uh, yes, I do know what the Sega Master System is. No, I never collected it um my uh to give you an idea if you guys want to 
uh, my first console was an Atari 2600. And then uh, after that, it, it jumped to uh, NES. And then uh, after NES, uh, I had a Genesis. And uh, PlayStation 1, 2, 3, 4. I haven't picked up a 5 yet. I'm not ready for it. And uh, but I'm, I'm just you know, I'm also waiting for it so they're more readily available. I'm not going to play scalper play scalper prices, but uh, yeah, that's my uh, that's my that's my video game history. I have played N64s and Super Nintendos uh, throughout my whole life, and I even owned uh, I even owned a Dreamcast at one point. But uh, no, my heart. Maybe we can say that. <laughs> my heart's always belonged to Sony, but uh, Sony. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Sony so. fanboy. Yeah, same here. I'm in the right place. <laughs> I just uh, and I, I I hate I you know I love Nintendo and I I don't I like my my Xbox too or whatever it's just like uh, I'm just passionate about that stuff. Holy shit, Joe! Do you own Sudoku one and two? <laughs> Sudoku one and two. Oh man! I got the Jack from the Lost podcast. <laughs> I I uh, I in fact do own Sudoku one and two. Oh, believe it or not, <laughs> do you want to see them? I have them. <laughs> I have all of the uh, Suikoden's. I have one, two, three, four, five, and Tactics. The funniest thing is that I actually used to own American copies on PS1 because they were a lot cheaper, and I traded them with a collector in the Philippines, I believe. I, I find never even seen amazing that they're cheaper. <laughs> they're not cheap. <laughs> well, over here, you're looking at minimum $500 a copy. So don't wow, no, they're not, they're not that bad. Six you or said, seven. Like, you said it price. again, dude. Did I? You just said Sudoku too. No, I said Sudoku. <laughs> Sudoku. <laughs> we'll come, we'll get to that. We'll we'll touch on this later. Yeah, I but, think they're uh, like two hundred fifty bucks. What do Figzy and nine eleven have in common? Never forget. Uh, no one's ever gonna forget Sudoku. What is? <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Figzy. <laughs> well, oh, so what do we get God. next in the chat? Yeah, it's it's good. Terry, on it staying up at one a.m. That's awesome. Cheers for staying awake, man. Appreciate it, man. Have, have, have a coffee. It's impressive. I haven't went. Elvino <laughs> says she hasn't been into Best Buy since the Killzone 3 launch. Uh, it's, yeah, Killzone 3 was a PS3 game. Jeez, that's, a, that's quite a reach. I'm getting an echo. Who's a, I'm getting an echo in my headphones. Who's got their shit turned up too well? There's Testing. Me. Testing. Check. Check. It's just me. <laughs> Let me mess with my levels over here. I've actually been to a Best Buy prior to that. I went to Best Buy when I was over in Seattle in 2016. How'd you find it? I didn't buy any games, so it mustn't have been that good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, the Best Buy, it's, it's a corporate store. It's on, it's on par with Walmart, if you ask me. But... Uh, didn't go to a Walmart because there's no Walmart in Seattle. But um, I probably went to like 60 different shops that sell video games when I was over Damn. there. I'm like everywhere, you know, man. <laughs> was this yeah, I only go to Best Buy for their clearance stuff. That's it. I don't like, I just like once a day look through their clearance list for games and that's it. But you could get, like I get, you can get games for like 10 bucks. So it's worth it. I only go into Best Buy when my girlfriend needs a new phone, and then uh, I just spend all the whole the whole time I'm in the video game section looking for deals. So, once every couple <laughs> years. What else we got in the chat? I got my copy of Amori and Lawn Mowing uh, Sim from Best Buy today. Oh shit! Well, congratulations. I'm I was not thinking about getting Lawn Mower. Lawn Mower. I'm not. I'm not sold on it. I'm not. <laughs> I'm just not. <laughs> Amori copies are going to be harder to get in the future by the sounds of it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to get my hands on this game. I got, I got Can't Drive This for $16 from them. That was can't Drive This? Game. Yeah, it's just a <laughs> god-awful co-op racing game. So I'm, I, I love like uh, co-op games, and the whole premise of this game is like one person drives and the other person builds the track for them. And Ooh, so builds. It's just, they make make the track as you drive. Mm, and so it's, 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 so it's got that like overcooked love hate thing going on. What's the like concept? Like that. Yeah, I don't know. I like I like the co op games that are like only two player games. I can force my girlfriend to play them. <laughs> Pretty much. 
Well, James I'm might not... have been talking to me <laughs> here, boys, because I have to excuse myself for a second. He's the problem. Oh, listen to you. James Johnson says, I have a small bladder to slow down. I know. Uh, yeah, I'm... I only drink on on podcast days. It's a reason to celebrate. So, cheers. Are you uh, uh Figsy last said last week said he doesn't drink at all. Do you are you a drinking man uh yourself, Joe? Uh I I don't drink often, but I I do enjoy uh the spirits. Yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> the spirits. Yeah, I like whiskey a lot, man. I like Jameson. Oh, oh man, no. No. No liquor for me. It's just beer. I keep it uh and I keep it uh, I keep it trashy. Budweiser for the win. Budweiser, right. nothing <laughs> wrong with that, man. Budweiser, no, if you're man. listening, sponsor us. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That'd be a hell of a sponsor. We could all get the hats, or something. Oh man. Oh, well, let me let me see if I can figure this out. What's who's next? My boy Terry. <laughs> uh, yeah, my boy Terry doxing me online. Uh, Wilford. <laughs> Don't Wilford, don't don't be words. slurring your words. Yeah, don't be slurring your typing either, fucking Terry. Uh, yes, my real name is <laughs> well, Wilford. I, as a child, I went by Willie. When I came to America, I changed it to Will. So here we go. Here we are. Have you seen the um, TV show Wilford? Uh, yes, about the dog, the talking dog. Yeah, <laughs> yes. I'm, I'm Wilford, not Wilfred. Fuck That's that a really funny show. Fuck the talking dog and fuck his goddamn Hobbit hot sidekick. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Those look like the shelves I have. Um, these ones I got at Target, and then I got the old classic IKEAs, the old yeah, the Billy bi- bookcases. The Billy bookcase for the win. Yeah, which um, uh, I I used to be able to get, but now apparently they're a hundred dollars to ship to my house or something. It's what? Like, I don't know why, but for some reason, it's like $80 for a Billy bookcase, and if you want it shipped to my house, it's like 120 <laughs> Oh, my <laughs> God. It's like, yeah, right. I'll Inflation is real. Yeah, uh, I think I paid $50 for my Billy bookcase. It's new at the store, and uh, I bought some extra shelves. You got to have those extra shelves. Mm. And uh, well, That's and, uh, the thing that annoys me. You try to get some shelves shipped to you, and they'll charge you like 80 bucks to ship it to you. Like, come on, guys. No, I, I got an Ikea here in town, so, uh, it, well, next town over so it's uh it's always an occasion to go there and get the get the meatballs it's a it's a whole thing but yeah billy is that a real thing do they actually have meatballs in ikea yeah they got they got a cafeteria in there it do you you go into ikea and they they mark the path for you there's like there's a path that leads through the entire store it's their arrows on the floor or little little sticker arrows on the floor Mm -hmm. it takes you through every square inch of the store so you don't miss anything I've never pen- been to an IKEA store, I'll be honest. Oh, the rat. And they give you a pencil and paper so you can write down what you want. Blah, blah, blah. You write down the product number. Blah, blah, blah. And when you get to the end of the store, there's like the warehouse. And then you just go and find the shit you saw in the store. You put it on this giant cart and you take it and you check out. It's a, it's an experience. It's like mm-hmm. it's like Disney World cross Walmart. It's fucking beautiful. I Man, I'll talk it. like the Swedish chef. As well, <laughs> you, yeah, you, you are aging yourself. When you mentioned the Swedish chef, you're pretty oh, good for <laughs> Fix is like, what? I feel like I'm missing out here. Yeah, oh, that's okay. I have got like in, in Australia, just not where I live. Oh, man. yeah, if you ever get the chance, yeah, I highly recommend it. And uh, the Billy Bookshelf, greatest seller. All right, so we got Sirens only, uh, uh Sirens on my end game cat. I've got a full set, a full set of what. He's talking about VR games, I'm pretty sure. Oh, VR games. Oh, he's a yeah. he's a game cat, so yeah, he's definitely into VR. He's on the that's that's the PSVR underground. Uh, uh, everybody's a game cat over there. I don't know if you ever watched them. I don't know what you're talking about. PSVR underground are one of the bigger um, PSVR channels on YouTube for sure. They got like I don't know, like eighty thousand subs or something like that. But like they're they're like every all their fans have the cat in their name. So if you ever right. see that, that's, that's, that's cool. usually what it is. Yeah, it is kind of cool. I, I love those guys. I watch them all the time. So the more you know, never know. I'm addicted to to YouTube. So I know <laughs> all this, I know all the content, all the people. I'm the same, but then I watch yeah. like geography videos and like soccer videos and things like that. Me too. I'm obsessed with cooking shows. Sand blasts. Those are like niche weird things we watch. I've been watching these videos recently. This guy goes into the forest and puts like 
honey or peanut butter down and then films it and shows all the animals coming across and eating it in the next like 24 hours it's where really does he put the honey <laughs> on a branch or something as long as he doesn't put it on his balls i think we're okay <laughs> But do you supposed to use I thought I privated those case? videos. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> so Sam Sandblast says PSVR2 it's supposed to have vents to lessens the sweat. Well, that's good news for sweaty bastards like myself. Where are my sweaty bastards in the chat? Make yourself seen. Yeah. All right, I guess I'm all by myself. <laughs> Albina says that's why you wear it. Where I have been. Oh, yeah. Where's my head? Is is that is that like a thing? Uh, no, I mean I just have it. I don't know where it is. Like a nineteen eighties tennis player. You got a headband. You can play PSVR. I um I make um funny videos for my work, and so I have like this ridiculous headband and these giant sunglasses I wear, and I make these ridiculous videos. So that's why I have it. I have I have a wig and all this crazy stuff too. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I don't know why they pay me to do that stuff, but they do so. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Joke at LASIK, you can lose the specs. Best thing you ever did. Much better for you. Yeah, and you know what? They scratch your they scratch your lenses inside your helmet, man. So you're probably right. Oh, so you, that, I I couldn't imagine how uncomfortable that would be wearing glasses. The you're, helmet you, as well. you're supposed to if you if you have glasses, you are so you're supposed to wear them, but uh, it is uncomfortable. Um, Joe. Get LASIK. You can lose those specs. I did 20 years ago. Best thing I ever did. Much better for VR. <laughs> I'm going to go to the doctor. Why are you here? <laughs> VR! PSVR 2! <laughs> Jack Green says, I'm trying to get every PlayStation 2 greatest hits game. That's cool. Respectable. Uh, I, yeah. I was going to mention that earlier when we were talking about that. Like, Some of the greatest hits are a lot of money because of people who do that. There are yep. rare greatest hits games that are, are pretty expensive. You got I, you, I've collected for them once, and it was only when I was going for a full set because together they look really good. Yeah, but if you've got them in a mix with the other games, I don't like the aesthetic of that. You got you got to respect a full set of anything. I mean, whether yep. it's a full, it's a full set of you know gremlins or smurfs figure whatever <laughs> you got to respect it if you get the full set I'll, I'll more power are you guys familiar it. with the south american uh and central american favorite set for the ps3 the favoritos. I Los think, favoritos yeah i think you do make videos about that one or or not I, i've spoken about them before but they look absolutely amazing together yeah. the full set is one of the best looking sets on the ps3 yeah, I love subsets and stuff like that. That's like my favorite part of collecting. So that's where the collector in me gets me. So like I use, you know, I buy games to play them and then I get obsessed with sets like that. You know what I mean? And I'm like, oh, man, I just want that set, like all the so Sodesco games or uh, I, I got I got all of the FMV games on PS4. I just I don't know why, but I started to get one. And I got two and I got three. And I'm like, how many are there? I'm like, I'm getting them all. <laughs> you know what I mean? I love like going for those little subsets and stuff. So yeah, like, FMVs, uh, FMVs are. I, I never got into them, but uh, yeah, those are. That's quite niche. I think there will be. Well, they're all. You know, they're almost all limited run games. Just yeah. Like, right off the bat, and um, I think they're going to be pretty valuable because they are niche. I don't think they got like tons of print runs, and um, they're fun you know uh I, I i like party games i like any games that i can play with a group of people yeah so they're, those they're they're good for that so if i have friends over my family over or something uh it's funny to let the kids play and watch you know make them make terrible decisions and watch people get against people killed and stuff you know what i mean like <laughs> so like uh i do like that a lot all right guys you're gonna have to pardon me uh this time i'm just gonna use the bathroom give me two seconds you wouldn't yeah. zap me off the screen <laughs> On subsets, in our actual picture, you can see on the bottom right hand of the screen, you can see the sink star set, and that's beautiful. Yeah, and that's the aesthetic I love. Is you can I can arrange it like a rainbow. Like how many sets of games can you do that with? <laughs> yeah, and like that's the collector. And you know, are you gonna are you like can't wait to play all your sing? No, but you just like getting the set, having the collection, having it's just it's a lot of fun. Like I love doing that too. I like showing someone my PS3 collection. And they're not into gaming, and they'll be like, "What's that?" And I'll be like, "Oh, that's all the SingStar games." And like, you know, you can see that it, it, it's just mm -hmm. cool to me. I like that. 
yeah my my roommates he he's obsessed with rock band and and he does karaoke like all the time so there are people out there that are totally like yeah <laughs> give me all those yeah, six star games yeah things are awesome so and then that, there's a big fan base that love seeing them in a collection there's a lot of collectors for six star games out there so mm -hmm. it's crazy yeah. some of the prices these games go for i remember you like you showing like off of some of those buzz games and like from all around the world and like that set and all that stuff and like that was crazy collecting those and everything some of the buzz titles there was a recent sale of a um buzz of new zealand that was like 250 dollars that's great and then there was a recent sale of buzz brand of russia for 500 euros that's just absolutely insane it's up there with the most expensive ps3 games but in my opinion it's by far the rarest so no. You know, if you're going for a full set, then you know you want the rarest game. <laughs> you gotta pay. That's just what it is. You know, that's 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 where I'm at with my shmup collection. I'm missing the Griffin Knight Epic from Strictly Limited. It's two to On three PS4? bucks. Yeah, and uh, if I want the full set, that's on the list. Unfortunately, you know what I mean. It's just one of those things that uh, uh I'm gonna have to pony up and get it if I want it. What's Funny you say that, Joe, because if you were watching me back in the day, you would own it because I told everyone to buy this game. <laughs> I remember people coming back to me like, where are your extra copies, copies that you kept, Figzy? <laughs> I only bought one. I mean, I told everyone, I'm yeah. like, this is a great game. There's only 999 copies. Mm. It's going to sell out and there's going to be none left. Um, and a few people right. watching this are probably... Well, probably if you if I told you to buy this back in the day, leave a comment because I know there was a lot of people. <laughs> Must have been a little bit before because I uh, I got her into really PS4 collecting like a little bit after Limited Run and Strictly Limited came out. Yeah. So I missed some of their early early releases, but I did get in pretty early, so I got a lot of the good ones. So I got our type dimensions, I got Stardust Galaxy Warriors, I got like a lot of the good stuff from them. So, but uh, I did miss that one. So. I'm I'm gonna need to get your shmup list uh, before uh, before this is all said and done. That uh, that top shelf shmups. <laughs> the whole shelf, except for like the last two. Yeah, those oh, are all shmups. Wow. And then I have crazy. There's some more of them up here too. Yeah, I love shmups, man. That's PS, obsessed. PS3 got the shit out of the stick. The only physical we got. There's two four on PS3. Two. Four oh, there's four. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's un there's a uh, oh, what under defeat or whatever it's called. Or whatever. Under defeat HD. Only... Western release title. And there was and Katsui. Then, yeah, Katsui, Memorican's Curse. And that one's insanely expensive. Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, that, that used that. to be a $50 game. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's definitely not anymore. It was like 500 now, 400, 500 bucks, something like that. It's and crazy. Such, crazy. And the collector's edition is hobby. always expensive, but yeah, that, that surprised me probably the most of all the um, smups on PS3. Because Ketsui used to be the expensive one, and Caladrius Blaze was expensive, and now that's mm. cheap. Ketsui's reasonable. Really? Remember, this curse is astronomical expensive. Oh, that one's insane! Yeah, I, I looked, uh, and I, uh, I I wanted it, but yeah, no, it's out of my reach. Ketsui on uh, PS4 is really expensive. I and do so, want that one, but again, yeah. I don't have it. Definitely, uh. We'll pick that one up if you before in ESP ESP raid rod raid whatever that one's going to be really expensive too I think I was initially buying every smut for the PS4 because I didn't think there would be like fifty of them <laughs> so from 2015 to like 2018 I've got every single smut that was even every Japanese release but um I've slowed down since then definitely so there's a kind of a lot of bad ones if you want them all I'm not gonna lie. Like Red Art Games put out a lot of questionable shmups, <laughs> but uh, I bought them anyway because I want them for the collection. But uh, you know, there's a there's a list that I'd be like, these are the ones you really want to play if you care about it. And then there's some, you know, if you want to collect, you know, Ice Cream Surfer, uh, <laughs> Ice <laughs> yeah, check it out. It's uh, it's not the greatest game, but it's Ice if you want. It. You want it if you want the set, it's in the set, you know what I mean? So I'll almost argue that some smups aren't even like smups, if that makes sense. Um I I'll do, use yeah. Blue Rider, for example. I don't know if you played that. It was one of the Play Asia releases. See, that's that 
is one that's on my list but isn't on my list so that's another thing with shmups because it is it a shmup like you, you know what i mean like you're right it's like kind of sort of is it has got elements but it's not just like a regular you know bullet just hell. need to see what my dog's barking at guys sorry sure but yeah there's a there's a quite a few games like like uh gear shifters you ever heard of that one will i'm not familiar with gear shifters it's like um you're it's like a a car shmup you're in a car and you like race on tracks and uh you have a gun that you can shoot and it's like sort of a shmup but is it a shmup i don't know so there's like a lot of those games that are kind of like walk the line i guess I i'm still stuck on this ice cream game what's it called again <laughs> it's called uh ice cream surfer yeah let me get it ice cream surfer the cover looks just as good as you can think <laughs> it, so it sounds like an odd sex move i'm into it let me see that <laughs> the mailman's here if you can hear my dog barking oh uh, well, yeah dogs dogs hate mailmen and and cats it's just a natural evolution of things funny you say that i um, i i picked up my dog this morning <laughs> i played a um cat right here. Video on my phone and she went crazy <laughs> ice cream surfer and um uh... It's as good as you would imagine it. You basically are a kid who rides an ice cream cone who has to defeat evil vegetables. Who 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 published that? Oh god. Uh it's Red Art Games from Dolores Entertainment. <laughs> I think it was a French exclusive, that one. Like yeah. a French publisher or something. Yeah, yeah it we... definitely is. So they have uh, you know, games like this that aren't the greatest. Like they have Takutan and Akinosa. Echinofa, I think it's called. Anyway, I don't know. They're like little 2D side scrolling shmups. They're they're not the greatest. But uh, and you know, fun to play. you know, that's a that's a great segue for our, our next segment. Mm. And and this segment is called Figsy, name that game. <laughs> How do I do this? Where is it? A uh, branding? Brand, yeah. So uh, as you know, I'm amazing with my pronunciation of titles. <laughs> so we're we're gonna present Figsy with a couple uh, a couple games, and uh, he's going to have to uh, pronounce the name of the game. Now, some of these I've, I've done my homework. I know how some of these are pronounced properly. Uh, so uh, I'm gonna well, here, here we go. Here's the first game. No, no, that's me. That's well. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Here's the first game. I don't know if you can, can you see it up there in the corner, Figsy. Yeah. Now, what is the name of this game? So that is Sudoken 4. <laughs> is that wrong? This is, uh, I looked this up and I, and I watched a YouTube video on how to pronounce this. It's actually called, like, like Chop Suey, it's Suey Doken. Suey Coden. Suey Coden. Now you're K fucking me up. <laughs> Suey Coden. All right. So you, God you damn, it's, 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 it's catchy. Suey Coden. Yeah, suey, like chop suey, suey coden. That's the I, only remember, yeah. I can't. I can't. See you should. It. You should just say it, suey coden. You gotta say it like that. Suey coden, and then it's gotta be like animated up. Yeah, like, suey coden. Not see now you pronounce it perfectly. See, <laughs> you see. <laughs> yeah, you just gotta. You gotta turn yourself into a, a stereotype, and you yeah, you'll get the name right every time. <laughs> <laughs> That's the plan. Yeah, I feel like I'm fighting uh, a boss in like um, all right. Secure or something. <laughs> All right, uh, we're we're only gonna do a few of these. The next game uh, is Danganronpa Trilogy. Oh shit, he nailed it, Danganronpa. Uh, I'm, I'm a fan. Had, so if I if I had a ding 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 button, yeah, you fucking eight plus <laughs> on that one. Good job, man. All right, hey, you I'll probably see. do. Go to the sounds. We've probably got one of the sounds <laughs> that's like a bell. That's a very collectible. Ding game. ding ding. Uh, oh, all right. Uh, yeah, I got that one. That one's uh, that's that's actually an image from my collection. Mm -hmm. Unlike you guys, uh, I'm I'm stuck up here in my bedroom. Otherwise, I'd be I have children all over me. But that's mm -hmm. a story for another time. All right, here's another one. <laughs> that's a tough one. I have trouble with this one. I'm gonna look at it. <laughs> 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 he's gonna phonics it out. Yeah, he's gonna sound it out, dude. If you sound it out, you'll get it. Hint: it's not one. Onibara, onche, 
On Chanbara Chaos. Yeah, you're pretty close. It's Onishanbara. Okay. Onishanbara. I I, uh, I just recently discovered uh, these films on Tubi, and uh, yeah, it's it's, uh, it's if you got Tubi, it's free. Well, Tubi's free. This movie's also free to watch, and, and uh, yeah, a lot of uh, chop suey uh, chaos. It's it's a uh, beautiful, beautiful. Thing. Do you guys know about that series a lot? Because I have that release, but I've seen there's like Asian releases of these games. Yeah, there's you PS. Know. There's a bunch of PS2 ones out there. Yeah. Uh, I believe I'm the first just one. Curious if any of English. I feel like there was a PS3 title as well. I think I've got it. I don't even know what it's called. It, if there is, it's, it's Japanese. Um, with uh, there's a, I think Xbox was the first one to Onishambara Bikini, you know, something or the other. I don't know, but yeah, Onishambara ZKS. All right. Um, here's we we'll do one more. All right. And I apologize in advance for this one. <laughs> oh come on, man! This one's. <laughs> <laughs> This one's on my. This is this. This I love it. How he has them all, no matter which one, though. He's like, hold on, let me look at it. (laughs) I actually, I I don't have any of these games, and I want them. uh, I think it's like four, three or four of them on PS4. There's three, three or yeah, I think there are four now. I've got three of them. Yeah, Mask of Deception, Mask of Truth. uh, This one, I can't remember. But anyway, this is Mask of Truth. It's (laughs) Ottawa. Also, Wario Mono. Utari Ra Uru Mono. Yeah, I can't even say it. But uh, well, how am I meant to get that? <laughs> Utari Ra Uru Mono. But yes, and, uh, I, I'm sorry, Figs. I, I didn't mean to. But uh, yes, I have uh, to say it enough times in the rare and collectible PS4 videos. <laughs> Utawar, Utaru Utaru Mono. Uh-huh. There you go. But anyway, this has been Figzy pronounce this game. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. Uh, I'm introducing segments and shit. Look at me. I'm like a regular game show host over here. <laughs> Gotta have a jingle like for it. that now. Oh, it's coming. <laughs> oh wow. Ooh, that's nice. So factory sorry, sealed. I've got a factory sealed haunting grounds debating to get it braided. <laughs> I mean, you. you may as well. If it's uh, sealed, then you're not going to open it. Yeah. Uh, of the big three on PS2 uh, being Haunting Ground, um, Rule of Rose, Q-on, Rule of Rose, and Q on, yeah. Is Q on number three? See, I always put Q on as two, and number three for me was Michigan Report from Hell. Oh, well. Yeah, yeah, that's a that's a power release only though, right? But that's the that's pal, pal, maybe that's the pal big three. Yeah, so me and Will are like we don't we don't pal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm scared. Then you've got like Sengoku Anthology, which is more expensive and rare than all of them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but yeah, um, a game like Hunting Ground, yes, you should get it sealed or sealed. Uh, you should get it graded. I mean, there's really it's the gameplay is uh, blah 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 from what I've hear. Um, but uh, yeah. Get it graded. I, I don't know how much it's going to cost you. I asked a friend in a group. Uh, someone said, "Hey, I just got this sealed." And I asked him, "How much does this cost? How much games cost to get graded?" And it's like a percentage of what the game's worth and uh, it, insurance. And I don't know, but uh, yeah, definitely get that. Sealed. See, a game like that. Yeah. So Jack said, "All sell it on eBay for a kind of ton of cash." So a game like that, if it is in a really good grade, it's probably worth sending in to get graded and then selling it because you're going to get more than what a raw copy is worth where if it comes back a low grade it's probably not the case Mm. but majority of games that's not the case and especially today like i've been watching a lot of um auction houses recently and like graded games are selling for like a hundred dollars each you know i would never really just a hundred that's the cost of yeah i'm seeing like Sealed PS4 games selling for like fifty dollars of graded PS4 games. It's like you would have cost more to grade these games when they did it, and they probably did two years ago or a year and a half ago when these games were going for ridiculous prices. But yeah, the uh, the bottom is no. Well, I really i I want to talk shit on graded games, but I don't know enough to. You know what I mean? And uh, I try not to uh, talk shit on shit I don't know. But uh, oh, unless the game got that. a hundred rating, it's I wouldn't. But I don't see a point in owning a graded version. I I wouldn't. I, would, I don't even look. 
I'm not even. I seen a no. MLB the show at 95, and it literally went for 50 US dollars. Like, oh, like what was it going through that person's mind when they graded that? Like, yeah, they, probably, they probably thought I'm gonna, oh, well, I'm gonna be the only fucker on the block with a goddamn graded fucking common sports game. Yeah, get, <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, you sound like an idiot right now. <laughs> I got one I could get graded. Hold on. What are you What are you sitting on? Oh, don't bring out poop slinger. <laughs> What's he got? Drum roll. So if I was going to get anything graded in my collection ever, I do have a mint copy of Blood Will Tell. Ooh. It's not sealed, but it is a perfect condition. That's probably ah. the fanciest PS2 game I have for sure. I oh, thought so it's not sealed though. It's just no. It's. Uh, I know they grade things like that, but I, I would never get something non-graded. I, that's the game I was thinking about when uh, for the third, for the third, the the uh, the big three on PS2, uh, okay. Blood Will Tell, Kuan. Those, those are always, you know, they're always like neck and neck. And uh, but yeah, uh, is it worth it to to grade a non-sealed game? I don't know. I played it. I, think <laughs> I wasn't sealed like, when um, I got it, though. I'm not. I didn't open it. I'm not crazy. But, uh, <laughs> In the case of like boxed N64 stuff, maybe that would be worth getting that graded. And you do see that a lot. Um, but then the price discrepancy between a very good condition open copy and a sealed copy is just ridiculous. So, which I which bothers me sometimes, honestly, because I've seen sealed copies that are damaged, and you know I have yeah. sealed games that have bent creases, and I have games that are open that are perfect. And I don't yeah, know and I'm, I'm what, what is it, what is it up to you? What is it, what's you know, so um. I've got one game I'd consider getting graded. Um, I'll show you this because I wouldn't consider grading any modern system. Um, PS2 oh. and backwards is the only ones I'd consider, and I've only got one game that would even come close to that. And that is Just I Dance. Would... <laughs> oh, wow. See. Sealed Origins. I've never but seen I that cover before. In 2016, for like the price of an open copy, because no one wanted to see games back then. <laughs> yeah. Wild. So, so no, no sealed games anywhere on any of your shelves, both you guys. Oh no, I have sealed games. Graded. Oh, you do. I do have. Sealed oh no, games. excuse me, graded. I mean, no, I, say I don't graded. own a single graded game. Nope. I just, no. I, I don't like that. So, I mean, if you have something super rare like that, like, yeah, I do get it. Like, if you have something that I feel like it would be just crazy to open it, then, yeah, I would get it graded. But most games, I'm like, play them. You know what I mean? Like, I, I want to play them. So. I don't know. I uh, I recently um, watched a couple of uh, YouTube videos about the uh, the evils of, uh, of, uh, of WADA and their underhand schemes and you know i was I, I bought into it hook line and sinker and i and i believe it so no i won't uh, I, I don't want to participate in that in that world i don't want to i mean one one part of it is like damn you know what you know, i could make a killing but and the other part it's like but yeah fuck this shit because when you get when you get the average joe soccer mom exactly. who sees who sees that news story on you know and and whatever whatever social media page and all of a sudden she believes her fucking piece of shit uh sports game from 1998 is is worth yeah. a mint and no you, you no, it just it just fucks with things and, that's uh, every craigslist ad now i have a playstation 2 with no controllers and no cables 200 bucks <laughs> <laughs> i'm like dude what no, these, these, were, these were ten dollars for the last See, like, I, I don't understand the practicality of grading a video game because like, i understand keeping games sealed but to me, you can't really hold them and things like that. It's not like um, well, I, I'm a fan of cards and coins and stuff being graded because they they have one purpose and it's not to be touched and be displayed. Where a video game yeah. is a little bit different. Mm -hmm. like, and I'm, and I'll I'd be hypocritical if I was against grading because I've got graded stuff. It's not games mm -hmm. it's like graded coins and then graded cards and different things like that. 
Well, I mean, a grainy card, uh, it, you know, it, once it's uh, entombed in plastic, it serves the same purpose as when it's just loose. It's, you know, it's, 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 you look at it and then you look at the other side. Same purpose. You look at it, you look at the other side. And I can get that. I understand that. With a video game, it's, you know, it's like, it's like taking a car and, you know, wrapping it in plastic, saying, oh, no, you can't touch it, but you can look at it. Mm-hmm. That thing inside of that box has a purpose and you can play it. How do you uh, know that, it, that it, disc it, hasn't got disc roll on it? You don't, and you never open it. <laughs> disc here's, roll. here's one. People that grade Game Boys or um, PSPs Control. in the box, what's going to happen to those batteries when they corrode in 20 years? Well, a game, uh, it's not the same as a Game Boy, but, well, actually, uh, like a Game Boy, like a, what is it called? Game Boy Advance DS. Yeah, I can get that, but batteries will fucking melt through the, the plastic or the box will it will it eventually melt itself out of the fucking well, controller it'll go Probably. and wreck it mechanically like if you've had it in there for years mm-hmm. i've seen i've opened new psps and recently and they're fucked like if you've got a sealed psp you should be opening them because those batteries are blowing up today oh um, man they're uh, leaking like true. it's not nice you ever seen a blown up psp battery it's yeah, disgusting. yeah, it's, plenty it's, of times. You know, I've disgusting. bought them from customers, and I've gone, "Sorry, the battery's blown up," and they're like, "Oh, I haven't touched it in ten years." I'm like, "That's why." Yep. <laughs> Nine out of ten times, if I see any PSPs for sale, there's they, no battery included, no battery included, no battery included. They all are, they're all gone, they're all dead. Do you guys uh, PSP at all? Either of you guys collect at all? I did, I and mm-hmm. I sold my PSP collection. Yeah, I. I uh... I, I, like I, 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 I have a I have a PSP, but it doesn't uh, it doesn't do anything. I don't I, I'm not gonna I haven't modded it. I haven't, I don't play it. I have like four games for it. And I don't even know where they're at. To be honest with you, I did. Um, uh, this is I did. I was really lucky. Like when like when I used to go out and do deals and stuff, I did come across. I got the the God of War. <laughs> Some dude randomly. He's like, I have this PSP. I'm like, I'll buy that. Uh, I'll buy that immediately. How much you want for that? He's just like, oh, 100 bucks. I'm like, sure. Is, is there is there a battery in it? Uh, yeah, I bought a new battery. And um, so, like, all of these, if you ever buy them, they're notorious for having, like, the paint chip off. Do you see the um, oh, the damage, like, here? Do you see that? And so I have the original battery cover, too, but I replaced it with this one because no, the other one was, like, the, the paint. I still have it, but it was just, like, a ton of chipping. But, yeah, this thing, uh, other than that, the thing's, like, perfect, man. Um, but uh, yeah, it's I, beautiful. I, oh, dude, I, I really is, man. I, I I love this thing. And then I have like a couple like crappy ones that I actually play with because I don't like to use this one. <laughs> I have a Darth Vader one. Um, a friend of mine gave gifted to me, and uh, my son asked me for a PSP for Christmas mm-hmm. like two years ago. Just just two years ago, he wanted a PSP. Is like oh, random? God. Yeah, because well, <laughs> no, no, I mean a PSP because he remembered the one I had when he was. He, and nostalgia is hitting the kid. He remembered the one I had when uh, probably ten years prior, and uh, it was modded, and you know you could play everything and anything on it. But uh, yeah, friend of mine, I told my friend of mine, he was kind enough to gift it to me, and, and I gifted it to my son. So uh, yeah, it's somewhere in the uh, in the jungle or the, <laughs> the the lost. It's lost in his room, as most things are. But uh, I. Yeah. I love collecting uh, the consoles. There's so many PSPs I want that are so cool, man. Um, like I want the Hannah Montana one so bad. <laughs> <laughs> the purple one I want it so bad. They have like the a Simpsons really... one. That one's amazing. Yeah, uh, they have a really sick Dragon uh, Quest one. I... Oh wait, no, that's a Vita. I'm thinking of. Uh, oh, I used PS... to have a really cool one. I had the Final Fantasy Crisis Core Silver PSP. Hell yeah. That one's but sick. I didn't have a box, and it was in terrible condition. I got it secondhand, but it, uh, that was my playable console, you know. Guy in the the PSP PS Vita ain't dead group on Facebook. He he uh, just today he posted it was a it's a Japanese one, Monster Hunter. Oh, that one's so yeah. beautiful, man. I've uh, yeah, I've, my my son's a big Monster Hunter fan, and that game was actually ported over to PS3 on uh, in Japan, which is uh. In, uh I found one, but yeah, it came and went out of the collection because one got... of my like holy grail PSP items is the Mon- Monster Hunter grip. You ever see that? It's like the only hand grip they ever made for the PSP. That's not garbage. 
I'm not familiar with it, no. It's like $130 for one. Is it, is it a Japan a thing? Grip. It's Japan only. If you want it sealed, it's like $130. One guy offered me one for 100 once, and I almost bought it, but I was like, ah, man, I just can't spend $100 on a grip. I just can't do it. I yeah. want it so bad for my collection, but... I don't know, man. It's such a. It's just like, where do you stop the line in like buying expensive <sighs> games and then buying accessories are expensive? Where do you draw that line? I'm it's... really into peripherals. You guys like collecting like. That's I've like, tried my best to like not that? do that. Oh, man. It's so hard. <laughs> and then every couple of years, I go and do a cull for those boxes of peripherals. My yeah. my current thing is I'm sorry I'm mean, for I'm trying no. not to be obsessed and buy all the PS4s because that's like the actual <laughs> consoles. There's so many sick ones, man, and oh, like do it. it's a rabbit hole. I already I have the Destiny one, I have the Spider Man Pro, and I have the God of War Pro, and I'm like I want them all now. I want them all. I want them all. I want the the Monster Hunter. I want the oh man. But uh, I've got 18 box PS3s, <sighs> and I want to sell them. <laughs> <laughs> I do it well. I'm always hunting for the backwards compatible PS3s. I'll buy 20, 10, 10 of them. I want I, mean, I want as many of those things as I can get because I when they start to fail, like I, I want to have another one. I think that the backwards compatible PS3s are just amazing. Man. How many of those you got in your collection now? I got two, two, got one. Yeah, I got one that I'm using and I got a backup, and then I got a, another PS3, the slim with I used to. Do you happen to know if they're an A, B, or a C model? Uh, C, I think. C. I think. They're fully backwards compatible, I know. Yeah, the uh, I had a B. Uh, I let it go, but those are if you, if you can get a, if you can get your fingers on a B01, mm. it's all all black trim. So all the silver, anything that's silver on the on the, on the other ones, it's mm. black. Uh, it's only it's a, it's a twenty gigabyte hard drive. But uh, and it has no Wi-Fi built in because this was the budget model. Mm. But uh, it looks it looks sick. If you can get if you can get a BO one, I, I highly suggest it. That's my favorite. Again, had one came into the collection and it went out because I got a I got a C model somewhere, somewhere. <laughs> I just yeah. went through a phase where I was trying to buy all the special edition box PS3s, like you are now. Uh, Jeho with the PS4s. I'm trying scary. not to actually. <laughs> I'm just. That's what I was saying at the to. time. I'm like, I'm not buying these. No. Oh, another one. <laughs> I'm trying to be good because I know I'm going to drop a lot of dough on the PSVR two when it comes. I'm ordering that day one. So whatever the price is, five, six hundred, whatever it is. So I got to be yeah. good until then because I know I'm going to do that. So, but I'm going to be really upset if they only come out with the white one. Just so you know, like uh, I bought the black plates for my PS5. I got all black controllers. I want. Yep. I'm gonna be disappointed if it's just a white PSVR2. That's all they release, which I have a feeling that's what they'll do. You're gonna look like a Star Trooper from Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, around and you're wearing the white. <laughs> yep, pretty much. My aim will be just as good too. <laughs> Jack Green from the chat says, "I have Def Jam Fight for New York." Great nice. game. If you guys haven't played it, uh, I highly, I highly suggest it. It's fun, and, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, you could never, you get, you can never repeat that game with the licensing of uh, of all these rappers nowadays. It's a miracle they were able to pull it off then. But uh, yeah, I love that game. Cheers. Yeah, it'd be like a billion dollars today. <laughs> yeah, it's just, yeah yep. before the game even drop. Sam Blast says Silent Hill Two Platinum has additional content over the Black Label copy. There we go. That's the game. Thank you. Thank you for finishing my thought I had about an hour ago. But yes, Silent Hill Two is the game. So I have but, a uh, follow-up question to that. Silent Hill Two actually had a re-release in Australia. I wonder if that re-release has got all the additional content hmm. on it. No, probably does. Any power collectors able to answer that question? Hmm. <laughs> We got Mac Time saying Dude, hello. What's up, Mac Time? James confirmed the um, Fatal Frame Project Zero question we had before. You have an excellent memory fix. I didn't know what the hell he was talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Siren says Midnight Club Los Angeles Greatest Hits has all of the DLC on disc. And this yeah. is a PS2 game? PS3. Mm -hmm. Oh, PS3. Okay. Uh, that might be true. I don't. I don't even bother with racing games. I don't even. They don't even ping my radar in the slightest. 
Another one is um, uh, Race Driver Grid. There was a version, the greatest hits and the essential version was the only release of a certain variant of that game. So there isn't actually a black label version, which is really interesting. It's the only game like that. It's kind of kind of pretentious, don't you think? <laughs> <laughs> We're releasing our game and it's a hit. Yeah, greatest it's a hit. hit. <laughs> right out of the gate. Right out of the gate. <laughs> I think because it was based off one of their other games and they've just added more tracks and cars and stuff. It was like a DLC, you know. All right, guys, I'll be back. Uh, excuse me. Cool. You're all right. Siren says he's got a sealed NTSC Ooh. painkiller. Wow. That's nice. That's possibly a four-figure game today. That's crazy. Oh, I got one for you. What about Siberia for the PS3? Dude, that's one of the, that's that's one of the ones I'm at. I really want bad. Have not you sealed. Not a sealed. Copy? Yeah, I wouldn't mind a pal copy. I I I'd take a pal copy. Um, I haven't checked prices, but I'm uh, quite sure pal copies are even like a hundred dollars plus these days. Yeah, I think I I think the one I was looking they were on one hundred thirty. Yeah, which is list. still ridiculous price for but an adventure that's, game. That's that nobody, game. Nobody. Uh, yeah, uh, it is. And I, I really do want it. I, I, I love adventure games too. That's one of the, the genres I do collect. I have like, yep. um, I have all the telltale games. I have, um, I, I was going for Siberia back in 2016, 17, and it was rare back then. Like before mm -hmm. people were talking about it in videos, it was rare. Um, I actually just picked up the, um, Siberia 3 collector's edition from Pell. Ooh, nice. Yeah, I'll show it to you. What's that set you make? Oh, he forgot his headphones. Cheaper than the PS3 version, I'm wow. sure. <laughs> Sorry, it's the uh it's the limited edition, not the collector's edition or whatever. But they had these going for like I don't know, like 35 bucks or something like that for the limited edition. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, man. Oh, is that an Australian writing on the front? Hmm? What's that? Is that an Australian writing on the front? Uh, I don't think so. I oh, know it's a German one. Yeah, it's oh, German. Yeah. That's the the dreaded USK. And uh, yeah, it comes with like soundtrack and all that stuff. I actually I got that uh, I got some oh. three just standard release. Uh, it was one of the ninety nine cent games I picked up at Walmart and uh, never. That that I got a couple of copies of that. Kept one for myself, and like I said, gave the other one, or not gave, but traded the other one away to. Uh, yeah, that's it's, that's hilarious. Siberia three is ninety nine cents. Siberia one and two is five hundred dollars. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, okay, guys, I love how that stuff works. It's just because it's literally a logistical issue. They probably just wouldn't have made enough Siberia one and twos. <laughs> Look at the demand. Let's make a million of these Siberia threes. <laughs> yeah exactly get so expensive like oh everybody must want this we're like that's not what happens <laughs> jack green picked up def jam for new york uh over 90 bucks off of ebay um is jack uh do you know this guy is he a pal guy or is he an ntsc guy i'm not too sure because that's an ntsc uh deal that's a hell of a deal uh I, i'm not even familiar with the price on def jam ps2 at the moment for pal Clickety clickety click. Like I tell you, like I told the story last time. Uh, I ordered uh, Def Jam off a dude in a Facebook group, and it was seventy dollars, and I bought it. And by the time it arrived at my house, it appreciated like like twenty bucks in value. <laughs> so it's a hundred dollar game over in here. So it's probably an American. Uh, yeah, either, that Jack's talking about. Either way, it's a, it's a hell of a deal. Good yeah, job. That is a good deal. Oh. Knack Time says his local game shop's got some heavy hitters on PS1 in stock. Tales, Concerto, Kelowna One. Sudoku. <laughs> 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 like, how do you pronounce that again? Sudoku 2. Sudoku! Sudoku! They're priced at market value, roughly. Yeah, but if they're in good condition and you can actually go and pick them up in the wild, like, I'm happy to pay market value. If I can see them and hold them in my hands, mm -hmm. it's just much better than buying them on eBay for me, even if you're paying the same price. Yeah, I picked up the Klonoa remake 
so uh, I don't have to buy that one. <laughs> Tales Concerto, I don't have. I would love to get that one. That's a very, very expensive game, though. I'd love to get the Klonoa um, Beach Volleyball game. That's like a $500 PS1 title. So. Volleyball? Um, yeah. It was yeah. a PAL exclusive, this one. The only volleyball game I'm interested in is Dead or Alive. But, yeah. That's for <laughs> other reasons entirely. I was like, I wonder why. <laughs> Oh, no shame here, man. <laughs> oh, no. Nice. X playing Stubbs the Zombie right now on the original Xbox. The OG one, the original game. It's awesome. I got the PS4 uh, remake. I think I, I think I walked into a room while somebody was playing it at one point, but no, that's that's my extent with that game. It's a funny game. See, like what we're talking about before with games getting re released. So this is perfect age for a game to get re released, in my opinion. Mm hmm. Old enough that you can still play it, but you probably want to play it on newer hardware. Yeah, and I love it when it's uh, some game that was like an exclusive to Xbox or something that gets released on modern platforms. That's really cool. Yeah, some anytime, obscure thing. I anytime really like we that. can, we can take an exclusive from Xbox. It's a win. So there we go. <laughs> it's gonna be an interesting future. Waiting for Halo to drop on PS Five. <laughs> Jesus, no. <laughs> How the turns have tabled. What do you mean, though? I thought they bought them. Mm, they bought um, Bungie, but that's not who's like making Halo anymore okay. or something like All that. Right. Or as, as far as I understand it, I think they're just making Destiny now. I think. Don't Jack likes for the Dreamcast, but he's only got around 20 games. Yeah, but 20 games for the Dreamcast is pretty impressive. That's a good, yeah. I mean, that's a, that ain't a cheap system to collect for anymore. I think I've owned six Dreamcast games in my entire like ten years of collecting. Yeah, I never see them out in the wild. And they were all from the one one deal. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, I thought about uh, collecting Sega Saturn for a second. <laughs> no, never mind. <laughs> oh, geez. Sega Saturn and Sega CD are just ridiculous. Just for oh man, and remember when I told you I my brother sold my collection, dude? Yeah. Oh, no. <sighs> Do we had Lunar One, Lunar Two, Popful Mail. I didn't have Snatcher, but I I had like we had some real killer Sega CD Ouch. stuff. Ouch. It's okay. Yep, it hurts. It hurts. I'm like imagining inside. um that scene from The Simpsons where Lisa tells Ralph Wiggum that she doesn't love him. <laughs> <laughs> you don't choo choo choose me. <laughs> uh, yeah, dude. It was. It was. It, I can't. I'm mad. I'm like, oh, it's funny now. I'm like emotionally disturbed about the whole thing, but at the time, I'm like, yeah. Well, so I like, oh, whatever. I don't care. Whatever. I just didn't. Yeah. Like back then, I just, it just didn't think it would be a, a thing. I didn't even care. I was playing on PC. I was just like, yeah, I don't need my old games. Whatever. I'm never going to touch those old things again. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, I bust off the, day, the Sega CD with all them funny plugs and the 52. No way I'd ever bother with that mm-hmm. thing. You know, but now I'm like, oh my God, I just spent. I just spent a hundred dollars on the fake Sega CD mini attachment for the mini. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, how times have changed. Yeah, you were saying before how, um, like for the PS One, you can import games smups from mm. Japan and they're cheap. Well, if you look at the Saturn, like even those Japanese games are hundreds of dollars. The Saturn's such an expensive system. That well, I think that's that people did that six years ago. Like yep. the, they were like that six years ago. They were like, "Well, I can't afford these American ones. I'll get all the Japanese ones." So even those are crazy. Yeah, uh, probably, probably even like closer to ten or twelve years ago. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And I'm so I lucky. Was... I got into collecting like when I did. I'm like literally like six years ago. I started six yeah. and a half. So, like, thank God I did. Like, I would not have all the Suikidens. I would not have Blood Will Tell. I would not have like any of that stuff. Like, I was only able to get that stuff because. It was hilarious back then too. Like nobody was looking at PlayStation when I started collecting. Everybody was Nintendo, 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 Nintendo. And so what actually happened was this: I had like, remember I said I wanted to like focus on Sony. So I said I'm going to sell all my Nintendo stuff, and I put it up. And I, this guy was like, you know, and I said willing to trade for for Sony, and he was like, I have all the Suikoden's. He gave me all the Xeno Sagas, all the Grandias. Like he just had. He had like a, a curated collection and he was like, I traded He's it like, for like Nintendo. Yeah. He, I, 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 
I'm sure he's not pleased with the, the deal now, but like I traded like a Zelda 3DS to him, like um, like a handful of Wii games and like $300 cash, and I got some of the sickest PS2 <laughs> stuff ever, dude. Like, God. that's the um, cult of Nintendo. Yeah, man, he was just he just Nintendo, Nintendo, Nintendo. But I'm actually kicking myself because he had Tron Bon, and I didn't buy it. What? He had Brigandine, and I didn't buy it. He had, ah, uh, what else did he have? He had a couple. I'm naming your messages. <laughs> I'm afraid to. I'm afraid to to ask him again. He'll be like, "You? <laughs> Do you still have all those games? I want them back." I'm like, uh, "Never What's mind." What's your address? I'm coming around. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I uh, we know. we've all got stories of leaving shit on the table, man. It's uh, uh, oh man, I'm killing myself. Regret. Well, I, it's funny too because he he had Brigandine, and he's like, "I want a hundred bucks," and I'm like, "That's." way too much no it's like four hundred dollars five tell him he's dreaming mate yeah did, did tron oh, bond have people in here now we got troopers over on twitch we've got to sago <laughs> fix his collection, fix his collection. Is not complete anymore <laughs> that's true not with the new ps3 game you have yeah. to delete all your videos and start over man <laughs> <laughs> No, that means I can make a new video. I completed my PS3. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I did it. Fraud. <laughs> Clickbait, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> Cheers. Fuck LRG Fujitsubo. Fujitsubo. We've got someone arguing for my um, full set. He collects power, so it's not really affecting his set. And that's technically true. <laughs> Here's a question from Desago. What's the latest PS3 game you've gotten? Last week I got Tekken Hybrid for two dollars in box. Uh, the last last PS3 game I got was Dragon Ball Z uh, a HD collection. Um, Ten bucks. I had the chance to buy it for thirty five bucks uh, last year. Uh, the guy wanted uh, the guy wanted to, me to pay friends and family PayPal. I was like, no, I don't know you, motherfucker. So uh, thank God he said uh, thanks. God, thank goodness for that. Uh, waited a year later, and uh, yeah, found it for ten bucks complete. So yeah, that's my nice. latest PS3 title. Mine would be Tears to Tierra too. I already got the Australian version, but I added this to the collection because it's sealed with the art book. You know, <laughs> Ricky Andre was looking at that game just today. He now, wanted to, yeah. He want he's he's uh because you know he's on his, he's on his variant kick, and that one's gonna the art book and a little fancy sticker and it's all sealed up and he wants to have it yeah fuck yeah i don't get oh, let him know i know where to get copies i got mine out of asia so i could probably track him one down if he wants one there you go ricky uh, ricky if you're listening hit me up once I'll again ricky right. uh i'm hooking you up uh i will expect my commission and and via paypal <laughs> i think the last ones i got were i picked up silent hill downpour and homecoming i picked up the because nice. I, I already had the other two silent, uh, the remastered collection or whatever. It's a terrible too. remastered collection. Yeah, the one that's twenty bucks. Yeah, but let's call it the demastered collection. <laughs> I know the uh, yeah, the one that nobody wants. But uh, so I picked up uh, those two just games just because it was one of those situations where I'm like, well, I just have a feeling that this these will get out of hand like the other ones. I agree with you, and they already are. They're starting to really creep up in price already. I actually, I have to go to the Facebook page and make sure that was the last game I grabbed. No, actually, it's not true. The last game I grabbed was The Godfather. And I grabbed it strictly to flip it. I grabbed it for 20 bucks. The Dawn nice. Edition? So yeah. Yeah, I grabbed it for 20 bucks. It had some issues, but uh, a little, uh, a little, a new case and had some pictures of the right angle. Uh, sold it for a good, good amount. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> How about that angle? I'm not that dickhead. No, no. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm making myself sound like a shyster. No, I, I reveal any and all uh, issues with anything I sell. You know, even because I don't want to be, I don't, I don't want to hear about it later. Yeah, I try to be. As and I'm the here. same. Especially, I emphasize anything I sell on eBay with issues or anything like that. Oh yeah, I, I, I there's no. You want, I mean, I, so first of all, if something's damaged, I'm selling it for extremely cheap right off the bat. So yeah. I don't, you know, you should realize why I'm selling it for 
ten percent of the truck cost that other people are selling it for. So I always highlight all the broker flaws or whatever because that's why it's cheap, you know. So every, people. I saw the game today. Actually, it was a Donkey Kong game on the Wii, and it was like twenty bucks. And I'm a little bit worried because the person that bought it has a new eBay account, so they mightn't have like looked in the description to see it was acceptable condition. And there's light scratches on the disc. It still works though. So. Mm -hmm. Terry's yeah, asked, like, hey, Joe, how long did it take you to get a full PSVR set uh, as a interest myself and how difficult to find? Uh, so I'm not quite at a full set yet. I'm still missing like 10 titles. And uh, honestly, like if you're interested in doing that, now is the time to do it because a lot of games for the PSVR are dirt cheap right now, like 10, 15 bucks. And you're going to you could pick up, I'd say, like 70 percent of the collection. No problem. And then there's some like like anything that are just they're going to be extremely hard to find at this point, And they're already very expensive. Um, did, uh, did LRG ever drop any uh, PSVR games? Oh, yeah. Any of these other yeah, they got a few. Oh. Yeah, they have like um, they got some 18 of them. Ones, I think so. they get about 18. 18. Mm -hmm. wow. Yeah. And I missed one of them and I'm going to pay for it badly which one did you miss hatsukani vr hatsukani mishu the the that's like the music uh the idol one yeah the, uh, what do they call they it? only really brought out one that generally interests me and that was republic uh that one's really cool swordsman vr uh got a release oh, that i one's did really see cool. that one too that one looked cool i missed that one um thumper is awesome if you like rhythm games thumper is a really cool release uh, from limited run games but honestly from i've got games, four of them but the others don't really interest me uh, yeah those are the real good ones thumper's really cool if, you, if you're gonna pick up one that i think will be out of the limited run game ones i think that one will probably be the most valuable one thumper the saggy said if he was only going to collect for one system it would be the nes or the snes <laughs> uh, it's so hard man <laughs> later will <laughs> <laughs> Two systems. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> the collector's podcast. <laughs> I know. I was uh, when I posted my pictures in my collection. I was like, should I show my Nintendo stuff? Will I? Will they ban me? <laughs> <laughs> no, we love all video games here. I'm just, I'm just fucking with you. Nice. Seven. Jack Green games. says, "I'm 20, and I've got over 700 games in my collection. That's that's <laughs> generally really impressive." Oh yeah, that's young to start collecting. Heck yeah! I think I, wish... I had a hundred games at twenty. At twenty, I, I think I had like eight bucks. At twenty, I was, <laughs> I was, I was, I was. When I got done with the game, I was taking it back to the store and trading it in right away yeah. to get a new one. Jeez, good job. I'm pretty sure I was addicted to World of Warcraft, and I was twenty. So, funny story. Um, I missed the entire PS3 console generation when it happened. I was addicted to World of Warcraft, like hardcore. Oh wow! Like I was in like a top. I knew people like games. that. I completely understand. And so it's not that I didn't like other games. I was just consumed by that one game. Like I just that played was your it life. Non yeah, nonstop, just hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of hours. And so when I st it's when I first started collecting, remember I was like, I want to get my games from when I was a kid. But then I remember when I got to the starting to like i want to check out ps3 that's when i found your channel and everything and like that's why like i watch all this content because i have no idea what's nice. good on playstation 3 i really don't i missed like all of it and so like it's really it was really fun for me to like experience that console so even though i'm like it, it's like years later like it's still like all new to me like I'm having and a, it was such a great system too. Oh, dude, I can't, experience. I'm so mad that I did that. Like, I if you oh, like World of Warcraft's fun and everything, but I would have played it. But back. yeah, it's oh, not to have played all these other games. No, nah, man, I wish. And I, if I collected back then, yeah, so today's a special day. It's um, Siren on my end, the Game Cat's birthday. So happy birthday, Mike. Woo! Happy birthday. Cheers. Happy Mike's birthday, day. man. It's my fucking birthday, so fuck off. Cheers. Happy birthday, Mike. Happy birthday. <laughs> it's awesome. Bigsy, have you had a Costco pizza? I've never been to Costco. Oh, my. Do you want to tell him or shall I, Joe? 
I've heard good things about Costco. I like. Uh, I I'm partial to the Costco hot dogs. I was just gonna say I, I'm I'm a hot dog man. Go, <laughs> on the way out, on the way out, they got a little uh, little uh, uh, kiosk or something. Ki- yeah, kiosk exactly, and you can buy either hot dogs or pizza, and these are just giant ass hot dogs and lovely slices of pizza, mm-hmm. and uh, they're just giant and good, and they're cheap, and uh, yeah, I Costco is one of these um. What do you call bulk stores where you yeah. go instead of buying one can of raviolis, you buy 20 cans of raviolis at the same time. And and, then, and the cans are this big. Yeah. <laughs> it's gallon cans of ravioli. So yeah. You can buy like boxes of cereal that are like to me, it's really like the American supermarket. <laughs> that's, that's the normal size for us, Yeah, we're, we're, we're a bunch of fucking oversized wasteful dickheads over here. And you know what I mean? God bless America. Well, yeah. we're on the uh, we're on the inflation diet now. I don't know if you heard of it. It's really yeah, cool. it's like yeah. The, it's it's. I call it the I can't afford my food anymore diet. Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't stop buying games, so let's just you know, yeah uh, make some it, cuts to the budget. Yeah, trust me, my my collection my uh, my intake has trickled down, but uh, it's so light. sad. Light. So this yeah, story. man. No, I I was buying. Yeah, no, like a couple years ago, I was buying a lot of games, and now I'm like, I'll get these three. That's, you know, that's all I'm getting this month. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I like to treat myself and get some nice stuff, too. Like, I don't just buy cheap games. I like do buy some fancy, expensive games. I just uh, actually ordered some bangers. Remember when I was, like, writing in your chat, I recommend picking up Space Blaze? Yeah. So I wrote a comment and I was like, you know what I can never find is Space Blaze. That's the one I'd keep an eye out for. And I posted That's it. a VR title as well, right? No, it's just a shmup. It's just a okay. shmup. Oh, it, yeah. it, it's a terrible shmup, by the way. It completely sucks. But it only got released in Germany, I think. So it's just really rare. And I posted it in your chat, like on your video. I was like, I can never find this damn thing. And then I thought to myself, I'm like, wouldn't I be an ass if it was actually on eBay right now? And it was. And so I checked and it was there, dude. I got it for 70 bucks. Uh, with 50 bucks 20 bucks shipping uh from france or something and i i got that so that's being shipped and i am pumped because i been looking for that thing for two years man it's just like it's never there uh so I'm, i was really excited about that and then i also got um a copy of the deponia collection are you familiar with the deponia yeah yeah deponia? i am and i want those games i don't know which one mm-hmm. to get but i'll probably go for the collection now that there's a few of them that there's uh a European PAL release where all four games are on one disc, and uh, that's going to be the most valuable one, obviously. But uh, the individual releases, I think, will be pretty valuable too. So, they Spanish releases. The first game got a regular, like, worldwide release, so you can find the first game for like nothing. But the two, three, and four single ones, I think, got like UK and Spanish releases, something like that. They're definitely PAL only. And I guess what happened was the game got pulled off of all the stores for being controversial. So you can't buy it digital anymore. So like the physical copies are like, that's it. If you want to play it on PS4 or you can get it on steam or something, but like, uh, they're the Deponia game. So I, uh, I picked up all the four singles and, uh, I got the collection finally. Somebody had a copy for a really good price. It was like, um, 50 bucks plus eight bucks shipping out of for 58. And it's usually like 120 bucks. So yeah, nice. But that's it. So I bought those two, and I'm I'm like, all right, I got to put my phone away for a couple weeks because I can't be buying eighty dollar game, seventy dollar game, eighty dollar game, hundred dollar. You know what I mean? Like, so it's just ugh. it's like that, and that's why I'm slowed down in my PS4 collecting because if I have to import stuff, you're paying a premium, and mm. it's like you know I, I don't want to be paying fifty dollars for every game in my collection. I like back ten years ago where all my cool stuff was five ten bucks. Yeah, and the shipping is twenty bucks, twenty five. What you got there? Is that the game oh, Space yeah. Blaze? That's the one on the left. Yeah, this is uh Mikey just picked these up. Uh, Mikey over oh, in uh, nice. he's, he's Belgian. I, I I have a problem with these last names. Uh, my, Mikey Calcine uh, out of Belgium. But yeah, that's I think that's ca- Calcigen. I just learned um, how to pronounce Belgian names today. Right now, what's anyone cares? There's a space place for the switch on eBay right now. 
It's like 60. Not anymore. Now that you've mentioned it. <laughs> yeah, no, no, it's gone. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're so we're so influential over here. Anything we fucking say is gonna going up 20 bucks in two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the eBay guys are uh, watching the, the the podcast to uh to adjust the prices accordingly. <laughs> hey, what I was mean, it? What, what was they said? What, metal, metal, Jesus gear solid. Let's go, baby. That's right. <laughs> so Aaron's just got a sealed Siberia collection, NTSA, wow. yeah, as well as Painkiller. That's retirement right there. Jeez, buddy. <laughs> This cat guy's pissing me off. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. It's awesome. his birthday. He can say all he wants to. Yeah, brag away. I'd be talking about that too if I had that. It's sick. We got AJ. AJ in the chat. Hello, AJ. What's up, man? Does it get $40 worse? Bucks. $40 oh, yeah. Amazon Jay, for a sealed Siberia collection. That's where you're going to get it. <laughs> I believe it. I bet when that game came out, nobody, I bet nobody, everybody slept on it. Nobody cared. I yeah. guarantee you. But I think, I believe it was only available on Amazon. It wasn't actually a regular. Yeah, it was, a, it was an oh. Amazon exclusive. Okay. Guys, we've what? almost been going for two hours. Um, I think it might almost be time to wrap things up. Cool. Anybody uh, left in the chat we want to say goodbye to? Well, I do want to say a uh, shout out to Terry because I love him. PlayStation. Yeah, King Collector 9000, Tim Richards, Jeremy Moore, Robert, Mr. Isa, Roddick One. Sorry, we haven't gotten to all your questions, guys. I told Ooh, you. girl. <laughs> King Collector 9000, Jeremy Moore. You said Robert, right? Yeah, Mr. yeah, I mentioned Robert. Mr. Isa, uh, yeah. And Rodark one. Well, Joe, it's really been good to have you on here and chatting. We've chatted yeah. for two hours and we haven't stopped. So, um, <laughs> so we can talk about games all day. Yeah, I had a lot of fun, guys. Seriously. Thank you for having me on. Hey, yeah. Come back anytime. Uh, like I said, like I saw on Figsy earlier, all the uh, other people we invited on as guests had excellent excuses. They were fucking perfect excuses. James, <laughs> Ricky, James, Jordan, all you guys, perfect excuses, airtight excuses. But uh, if anybody wants to get on and uh, come talk shit with us, please get in touch with myself or Figsy. We'd love to have you on. Uh, the more the merrier. Cool. Yeah. I'll be, anytime you want me back, I'll be here. Uh, we're going to try and do another stream Saturday night, Sunday. Uh, so if you guys do want to get involved, we haven't got a guest yet. So everyone's welcome on the podcast. I'll come back with my wig on and my fake mustache. <laughs> <laughs> where, you got to do what you got to do. You got to do where, It'll be Rojad. <laughs> yeah, that's right. John Reed. That's it. John Reed. Cool. All right, on that note, well, good night, Figsy. Good night, Joe. Thanks for coming. Uh, stop by any time. Uh, and uh, the, I don't know. Do we have a, do we have a sign off? Or is there something yeah, we'll, we'll leave straight? you guys with um, the amazing soundtrack. Yeah. <laughs> for 10 hours straight. <laughs> <laughs> good night.